and um right here right here <clears throat> All right, all right, all right. That's sent on all of the. I sent it on the Discord. Yeah, okay. Sent on the Discord. So I, I briefly looked over the potential races for Traveler, and obviously the the um, introductory uh, Imperium one only has those first three uh, races: the lion people, the puppy people, and the humans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that's good call. Right. Cool. Yeah, calls Absolutely. there. But, Back here yeah, no, the, fur the furries in the audience are gonna love that. I was disappointed by the lack of bug people. <laughs> of course, you, were. you know what? There is a um, there is a version of the game. Um, it's a open open gaming license called the uh, Cepheus Engine, hmm. and it grew out of the the open gaming license version of the last version of the the Mongoose Traveler. And actually, they have as one of their standard races hmm. uh, insects. And I think um, we Yay! are definitely overdue. For that traveler does have a race of insects which are super cool um but for whatever Pirates? reason it's been a broad call for them to be regular player characters so because mm. all right, right so in the change star system which is very similar i think in a lot of ways i've got these guys which are the marai and they're uh you know very integral uh integral Can you uh, shift your work style. over to your left yeah there we go yeah, yeah yeah sorry yeah i saw that guy he's super cool I think they're really. Yeah. I love bug people. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. <laughs> for for uh, all of our friends watching at home or who are uh, maybe joining us, www.rpgsuite.com uh, is yes. the software. Noah here is the principal over there. Wonderful fellow. Going to be walking us through the use of this uh, digital character creator and sheet. For Mongoose Traveler Second Edition, we're going to be creating characters. Me for Cole, uh, who is at the protests, Black Lives Matter, and yeah. we are going to be heading forward with that now. And Noah, I believe you were just uh, getting to the bloop bloops. Yes. Um, so now that you now that we've covered the the background of the Third Imperium, mm -hmm. um, you have a little bit of context there. Let's take a look at the software. So who is going to Throw if you should all have the software up and running right now. Yeah. The, the character generator. Um, right. uh, go ahead and click on create an imperial character. And if uh, Leland, if you want to um, show us your uh, uh, your screen so we can see what what's going on on your screen, I can talk you through what you're looking at. All right. Um... At this time, I would ask everyone to turn their attention to the stream, simply because even though there's a few seconds of delay, if I hit present on this computer, it'll mess up everyone's cameras. I'm sorry, that's a massive oversight on my part. Actually, wait, how <laughs> bad would it look? Let, we're gonna, we're gonna try no, a quick present now. Totally fine. Uh, don't worry. No, please, don't worry. It's not like there's anything secret. Yeah, so uh, the stream right now should show you, I'm looking at well, it briefly was tabbed out, but you can see we've got a human. We've got uh, some rolls. I, this is my second roll. Not a good set of rolls, um, I don't think. Uh, and we You're have an option her. of five separate five separate uh, species available in the full the full set. Hivers, I believe, are available as a separate entity. Very distinct. Not so great at manipulating and I apologize. their hands. Where can I find the stream? Oh my god! Oh Twitch goodness! Twitch TV, in chat real quick. Twitch TV slash Diesel Shot. Um, ah, nice. There's mm -hmm. a massive oversight on my part. Um, I can also slide it in your Facebook Messenger. And yeah. Oh, I got it in one. Yes. Nice. <laughs> nice. Hey, George. Hey, there George. we go. Coming through. So what's a wop? What's a Oh my god, wops are awesome. Okay, wop. So I'm curious. Mongoose originally was thinking about releasing Bwops in the in the in the first book of the new version, but but uh, there we go. Yeah, let me turn my uh, let me turn my audio off here. Version from that, but so Bwops are the backbone of the administration of the Imperium. Uh, they are genetically very very 
uh, honest. They 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 are naturally meant to do scientific and administrative things. Um, they're just very very good at it. Uh, they're a little bit like Rain Man. Uh, if you go to the DMV and there's a WAP there, uh, he's he's gonna say something like, "I looked at your form forty two B eight, and your fingerprints have expired. We're gonna have to take your fingerprints again." And you're gonna say something like, "How could my fingerprints expire? They never change." And he'll say, "Well, I'm I'm very sorry. That's that's procedure. We have to forty forty three point B eight that that your fingerprints have expired, and we're gonna have to take them again." You know, um, that's a block. Uh, there's a mechanic in uh, in in Traveler that is similar to one in D and D Fifth Edition called uh, Boon and Bane. It's like advantage and disadvantage. Um, so uh, Traveler is a two D six system. You can see by the mm -hmm. two question marks on his screen there that that represents two dice that you might be rolling. Um, everything you do is two D six. An eight or better is generally success. Uh, a seven or less is generally a failure. And then there are things that influence that particular uh, role. But with WAPs, they always get uh, boons when it comes to administrative oh. and, and and sort of ordered thought kinds of things. That's what a WAP is. Nice. Okay. Aren't you like rest? <laughs> I am. No, I am. I love, I love interesting cultures. And like species and and figuring out how their you know culture pertains to how they, you know, and, uh, you know w what they're all about. I don't know. I just like I just like novel stuff like that. And of course, you know, in the real world, you you can't really generalize any no, species no, or race or anything. But in the game. Uh, it's fun to be like, this is what blops are like. You know, I'm sure there are blops out there that have beer guts and watch nothing but football. <laughs> but um, but in general, stereotypical blop mm -hmm. does not do that. Um, so, human, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go ahead and escape out of this and then jump back in and we'll see if you can get uh, a better roll. <laughs> Some decent, I think I had a 12 in my first set, too. So I, well, I, I, I'd, really be, I, I'd really be... Uh, yeah, so we, we're going to new Imperial characters. And Excellent. here we have the human. You've got the bloop. I love, by the way, this little animation that plays. Ooh, uh, an 11? Ah, uh, two fives. Ooh, a 12. Oh, my goodness. A f oh, my God. Do you see that spread right now? <laughs> Heaven and hell. Going? I felt pretty good when I got a 10, 10, and a 2. And then oh, a bunch of fives. That's... I got a 7, 11, 7, 6, 4, and 2. <laughs> Yeah, that is so. going to be a very interesting character to play. One of the things that you can do in the upper left-hand corner, if you click on the gear, you can mm. set the rolling speed. So if you want to mm. go through it faster, you can you can make that faster. Uh, and if you want to go through it slower, you can make it slower. Um, that'll be slow, and that'll be fast. There you go. Speaking of which, I just realized something. Uh, because I am a consummate professional... I uh, am not playing the wonderful kick in music that this software comes with. <laughs> now yes. I am. Beautiful. Okay, uh, so th these are pretty... I mean, this is heaven and hell here. Um, <laughs> I think... Now, would you explain to me the difference between intelligence and education? Absolutely. Mm. Good question. Um, intelligence is thinking on your feet and it's it's your ability to really just wrap your brain around a, a, a around a problem and and puzzle it out education is your knowledge base it has to do with training and a little bit of wisdom it's all kind of rolled in into this this thing called education you can readily change your education it's a little harder and takes more time to change your intelligence mm. so right now mm -hmm. You have someone who is, is is really a little. You've got almost like Forrest Gump, um, a little lower than average intelligence, but with a huge, broad, massive database of knowledge. Mm. Mm. Okay. This is the kind of person who would say something like, "You you have eyelashes that um, they blink a lot, but did you know that there are little worms, microscopic worms, that live in your eye eyelids? Did you did you know that that." That's that's kind of like in my mind. That's what your low int, low uh, low uh, education, okay. um, like terrible coach. I might add. Interesting. Like, I think. You know, yeah. I uh, I wonder. I kind of like the idea of like shooting for noble here. 
So what if okay. we what if we try and get him a plus two on the Soch, uh, a decent edgy, leave the Antlo, and maybe keep a good Dex? Okay, that's now, very although interesting. We, we, have, we, of course, have two rolls left. I don't think... I mean, this is a real heaven and hell set. I don't think we're going to have anything this divisive if we go again. I, I think you have a real story brewing here. This this character looks like it would be a pleasure to play. Cole loves nothing of people, if not a good story. Yes, correct. That is true. That is true. All right. So should I? And I believe everyone, Shin, uh, Shin, Austin, Pat, yep. where are you guys? Are you you guys have seen stuff like this? Oh, I, I completely started yeah. over. I wasn't sure if we were gonna do mm-hmm. them again or. Yeah, and if if you guys want to share, uh, I can use if you guys hit present. I have a screen I can switch over to that will show mm-hmm. off what you have up if anybody wants to. Otherwise, we can move on to the next tier. Uh, I'm going to give you a moment. I need to, uh, I, my apologies, I need to run a uh, pre varger upstairs. I'll be right back. I got you. Okay, I got you. well, in that, ta- in, in that case, why don't I go ahead and present. Mm-hmm. Uh, All right. So I'm going to make an imperial character. Mm-hmm. I'm going to choose human. Because I went through the races, all right. We got we got our we got our cat people furries, and we got our dog people furries. <laughs> and I'm just feeling like you know, tonight. Pat, have you hit? I'm not seeing your uh, your thing isn't presenting in the meets. Ah, bummer, bummer, bummer. Let me hit that. Uh, let me hit that share button. Sorry, I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, whoops. All right. So we got our we got our cat people furries. We got a dog people furries. Mm-hmm. I've never played traveler, but I'm assuming that's what they are. <laughs> <laughs> but these guys, right? Seems kind of seems kind of familiar to me, so I'm I'm gonna go with that because I'm not I'm not trying to be fancy tonight. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just 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 feel like I can relate to this person more. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Now let's so, pop us. Yeah, no, I I I want to see you be the ass, and that makes a lot of sense to me considering everything. No, I want to point out that number one without knowing anything about the system at all every time you choose a new race there's a description of that race in the upper right hand corner oh, there it and is also as you go through all the different races you'll see how those races affect your stats uh, on the stats maybe we should have a more diverse crew maybe i should go for so all right the aslan are roughly human-sized um sapiens descended from four-limbed upright bipedal carnivore pouncer stock so basically, they're uh, lion people. Uh, they resemble Terran lions. Oh, hey, look at that. And have a declaw, or do claw, which can be extended to make for a vicious close combat weapon. So are these the Klingons of the setting? Is what I'm hearing, maybe? Uh, I would say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if, you look, if you look at this, first of all, they're all like seven feet plus tall. Second oh, of all, nice. Um, they get plus two to strength, uh, which is incredible, at, at the expense of dex, uh, which in a higher stuff. tech world is actually more useful. But mm-hmm. um, they're, they're generally tougher, frankly. Um, and uh, uh, there's a whole expansion uh, to deal with lots of different uh, Aslins and sort of Aslin careers. Um, oh yeah, I saw that on the RPG suite. Um, mm-hmm. It looks really cool. Yeah, uh, and that, that's something that we could we could look at. Um, they're not actually descended from Aslan, uh, from Aslan. They're not actually descended from Terran lions, whereas mm-hmm. the Varga are literally dogs yeah. that have been uplifted from Terra. Uplifted dog people. Yeah, <laughs> gotta have them. I, I, so. I love it. Um, that said, I think I, uh, unless we really want to branch out. What, what did you see you were getting uh, Allison? What? Austin, did you say you were getting a... Did you say you were going for the Aslan? I did not say I was going for the Aslan. Where no. where would you have gotten that I've going for the Aslan? I've, I've been kind of quiet. I was, <laughs> okay, I thought I heard somebody say that they were going for one of the other non-humans. Let's keep, uh, let's keep Lee on uh, on a human. Yeah, uh, that would be easiest. Uh, I think right now what you're seeing is uh, Pat's screen, though. Oh, cool. And yeah. then... Um, Hi, girl. Okay. You want me to be a cat girl? Is that what I'm hearing? Whatever you That's like. You. I do have one question. So, uh, with the different races, the very last stat does yeah. change. 
Ah, you are what is, way um, observant. What are the different ones of representing? Or are they representing the same one with a different name? Okay, so this is where Traveler really differs from a lot of other role-playing games. Um, that, that last stat uh, represents different concepts that are, are important to the particular uh, races. So humans have Soch, which actually show where they are in the Imperial social order. Um, Aslan have territory. Uh, yeah, one thing about Aslans are that they're genetically, uh, they're genetically, I won't say engineered, they're genetically predisposed to own land. It's very important. You know how people have like a sex drive? Well, in addition to that, Aslan males have a land drive. It's like the same thing. They buy magazines oh, wow. with different plots of lands in them, and they imagine how they might farm them or, or you know, create a great army on them. It's like Amazing. it's 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 really built in. And and in the Aslan world, the more territory you own, the more important you are. And so that's the theory anyway. And here, what you have is a very simple. Uh, you have an Aslan who has. Uh, a lot of territory for our purposes for an imperial character that translates into being a very high soch aslan okay. nice. and the varger i believe is that a charisma it looks yeah like um varger are predisposed to follow charismatic personalities wherever they might lead even if it's off a cliff so um they uh they are drawn uh to the this people with with personal magnetism um, the, but the idea is that that doesn't that only spreads out so far. The, the further away from the person with great charisma you are, uh, the less attached to them you are. And so um, in Varger space, uh, it's a lot of it is very dynamic, where groups are constantly forming and falling apart because of that concept. It's like you know if you're you know when you get three degrees of separation, people stop stop caring about that. Mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, and that charisma is literally like what you would think in, say, Dungeons and Dragons, what that charisma would be. It's, it is how charismatic you are. Makes sense. Nice. Now, so, the Hivers. Ooh. Hivers are, are the most alien player race that I have run across personally. Um, I love Hivers. Uh, Hivers are very interesting in a couple of ways. Number one, um, they, uh, <laughs> they're crazy. Um, they, uh, they have elevated cowardice to a virtue. Um, they, they're very non-confrontational. Uh, they like running away, but they are very Machiavellian manipulative. Uh, that is the stereotype of a, of a hiver. Um, there's a famous encounter where the Aslan Hirat was uh was advancing into hiver territory they're like these soft squishy aliens you know they they run from battle this is going to be easy we're going to own all of their space um so they just took their massive fleets and they they were just crushing it i mean the the, the equivalent of the 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 uh uh hiver navy was just fleeing before them and about mm -hmm. halfway in a hiver envoy met with the leaders of the Aslan Hirate, and the Aslan Hirate thought, hey, this is it. They're gonna surrender. We're just gonna get the whole thing. Instead, what the Hiver did was he said, hi, I, I don't mean to bother you, but essentially, um, we have undermined your entire society. And they were like, say what oh now? Oh my God, what? They're, they're like, yes, we've studied your, your, your uh, you know, male dominated, uh, quaint social uh, structures. Uh, and we've devised a four-step plan to bring your entire clan structure to its knees. And we will enact this um, if uh, uh, if you don't stop what you're doing and reset the borders. And they laughed at that. So the Hivers took one of the, the, the Aslan worlds and brought it to its knees, right? There were no, as far as anybody knows, there were no Hivers on the planet. But before you know it, like women, uh, females who were basically... Uh, don't do the weapons thing. They do the tech thing. Um, uh, they started taking up arms and fighting for their rights, and and it was, oh it was all upside down. And the men were like, "What I really want to do is paint," you know. And uh, and <gasps> it all just fell to pieces. Oh, and they were like, "That's your whole empire. So back off." 
<laughs> when we did. It was uh, it was a major blow to the hire it, but but they did. The nice thing about hivers is they love to adopt things. The way that hivers reproduce is they exchange genetic materials through effectively what you might call a handshake, and then they it's a little disgusting. They literally drop larva um, from their from their chest occasionally, and they consider these larva to be little more than pests, right? Uh, on their homeworld, the larva run into the into the jungles. And uh, they never think twice about them. After a year, any larva that survives becomes an actual little hiver, right? It's no longer an animal. It's, it, they consider it to be a person. And when it comes out of the jungle, no matter who it comes to, it may not go back to the same town or city or tribe or whatever. Um, whoever sees it, they adopt it. Well, this really weird concept of family, like you are, everyone is adopted, everyone, right? Mm. So when they encounter other species in their own space they adopt them they're like oh you're so cute we're gonna oh my gonna god help you get so <laughs> it's a fascinating alien race i'm actually loving them holy shit yeah I mean, we, we, are... we thought that i'd like them and i, I can't do there are lots of um in in the third imperium there are lots of trio plots like 3d movies where ultimately when you pull back the curtain the bad guy is in fact a hiver. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, He's the from the very beginning. Oh, lovely. I, love uh, kind of I played a, I'll, I'll do this real quick. I played a quick game where uh, one of the characters was playing a hiver and it was freaking out uh, one of the members of the team. So the hiver dressed like a horse, like a like like full furry on horse and had little sock puppets that it would talk through to try to make the human feel more comfortable. <laughs> All right, <gasps> back to the game. Um, so what we have here, as I look down these stats, is a very interesting character. Um, you're a human, you come from the highest levels of nobility, who have just uh, absolutely um, educated you. I mean, even before high school, you had the best tutors, you had the best uh, subject matter experts to come in and teach you everything. And that might be because you were a little bit of an idiot. Mm. Um, you're just you're just slow. Um, that doesn't mean you're not virtuous. That doesn't mean that you don't have great capabilities. As far as your parents were concerned, you're just a little bit slow, and you're a little bit weak. You you tend to get a little bit sicker than than other kids do. Um, on the other hand, when somebody knocks a glass off the table, you were like, Shpack! and you just caught it and gave it back to them. And <laughs> your parents were like, wow. Um, but if that glass was made out of lead, you'd drop it because you, you can't actually lift that much. So that's the character as it begins. And, and what you would do is you would go ahead and accept your human. And uh, home world time. Also, thank you, Raptor. Oh, boy. We got a sub. Um, so we have a, a wide variety of worlds here. And if I click on one of them, we see it pops up. I have a lot of data in the top right. Uh, and as a quick reference, the uh, the levels go zero through nine, and then uh, it's hex. It goes like A through eh? F. Okay, but the starport is X. Oh, because there's none of them. There yes, isn't, there isn't a starport on this world. Yeah, on uh, Darien. Darien, there ought to be a starport. I would think. Oh, oh no! Uh, what's selected is uh, 494 908. That is probably an unpopulated planet. <laughs> uh, There's geez. a lot of heroes in that. And of course, we can we can hit uh, tick high pop, and now we're looking at Armanax Aramis, and we've got uh, a, a starport B repair facilities and fuel. We see the law level, light assault weapons. You know, the government vulcanization, billions of people, space age tech at seven. So, and you can like, if you're like, I want to be from an ocean world, congratulations. You found it. Hell yeah. If you want to be from a rich world, a poor world, etc. And correct me if I'm wrong here, this doesn't have a gameplay effect, even though it very much informs the character's backstory. Yes, in the previous version of the game, um, the various types of skills you could get were very much affected by what world you started with. They gave you more freedom in this version of the game. Um, but choosing a planet to be from is often an important part of campaigns playing in the Third Imperium. So you can either uh, 
check a lot of the different things or multiple things on the left to find out what kind of planet you're on. Or you can venture out to travelermap.com and you'll find that the entire third Imperium universe uh, has been mapped. Um, oh, wow. And, you can, and uh, you can pick an area to play in and you can look up the home worlds that you want to live on there as a campaign issue. Um, currently, we only have worlds from two of the sectors, Spinward Marches and the Trojan Reaches, which are the most played areas at the moment. Um, although the folks who play in the Soleimani Rim would probably uh, you know, like to rebut. <laughs> However, um, this allows you to get a feeling for where'd you come from? Um, and I encourage you to find the planet that is most interesting to you. Uh, in this particular case, you have Meyer in Darien, which is a high tech world. Um, it's an E, A, B, C, D, E, F. So uh, A is 10, 11, B, 12, uh, 13. That's tech level 14. The electrical engineer me should know that by heart, but that's tech level 14. Um, normal interstellar material tech level is 12. So this is significantly higher than your, than your average um, high tech imperial world. Uh, the software tells you that, look, you get to choose four additional skills. This is really, um, what are your skills out of high school? When you graduate uh, your uh, primary education there, or secondary, I think it's primary, education, um, there are, in your case, because you're so well educated, you actually have four skills. Mm. Um, and so, if you again, if you uh, the way the software works is, you can always click on a thing, and it will tell you more about it. So you can make more informed decisions about what you're doing. So here you see the description of survival um, and you can either double click it or click it once and click add selected skill. And you'll notice that they show up in the skill box in the lower right hand corner. Now throughout the character generation process in the lower left hand corner, you're gonna find your character sheet. You don't really have a character sheet yet. So at the moment, we don't even know if you're male, female, or other. And so we just have the concept that you are a human and these are your stats so that you can look at your stats and make informed decisions about what kind of skills you might want. Um, in Traveler, stats can arbitrarily give be paired with skills. So for instance, if you want to be the alpha geek, you can actually use your SOCH bonus with your computer skill uh, at a computer hackathon soiree. Um, or uh, most people will use decks and say gun combat to shoot things, but you could also use say education and gun combat to figure out this particular shell comes from uh, an auto rifle, right? Of a certain make and model, which nice. might be helpful in the, in the game that you're playing. You can absolutely see the effects in like a detective sort of environment, trying to figure out who shot what from where. Yes. Now, I'm so going to... Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, in this particular case, you got to pick four skills. I would actually think about what you want to do with your life and pick four skills that are not that. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Um, one other thing is, uh, Shin, how are you doing? I'm good. Um, should I also be uh, creating my character along, or yes, should yeah. I... Yeah, so do you want to... Oh, okay, that's what we're doing? Yeah, yes, so, okay, like, awesome. we, we do, right. we're going up to, like, we're at Homeworld. Do you, does anybody want to, like, share their screen and we can talk about their decisions, or do we want to keep going on with the... Nope, all right. I'll go ahead and share myself if you want. Uh, all right, so I'm going with human. Uh, for sure, for sure. Because I'm boring. Um, I did roll. I have two rolls left. Uh, that looks like a little bit above average, but nothing really pops to me, so I'm going to try that again. All right, so ooh, I'm gonna regret this, of ooh, course. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. 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 I also like playing Dex characters. Um, like my usual go-to, I will be honest, I'm probably kind of playing towards, actually no, you know what? I think of me maybe like an Imperial officer or something. It sounds kind of cool. But um, my usual go-to is hacker or pilot. Either okay. way though, being higher on the social score would probably put me more towards the uh, 
imperial officer -y kind of thing. Although I'm obviously not a 12 here, so, you know. No, we'll uh, have to make a, social, a social of 10 is pretty darn high. Uh, also, a social of 9 will give you the same bonus as a social of 10. Um, so if you want to favor decks, I'd go ahead and put the put the 10 in that. You can still be a, an officer, and you could even be an officer pilot um, or an officer hacker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, so I finished this drawing, which obviously the head's huge, but hmm. that's kind of what I'm feeling for the character. You got um, a big brain. <laughs> I, I managed to crop it so that only the shoulders are shown. Hmm. I was so embarrassed by the proportions that I'm like, no, I can't show this. That's great. And that's so, what you get and when now you... what, what sort of home world? Awesome all right. Yeah. I was thinking, all right, so I went through this a little bit earlier before the stream. I was thinking, what, oceans? I was actually thinking maybe water world and high tech. Mm. So that gives me some options. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, representative democracy, uh, vulcanization. Mm. Sounds kind of shady. All right, what is a captive government? I had this question. Uh, yes, that's an excellent this. question. What it means is, first of all, a vulcanized world is a world that has lots of different government governments on it. Mm. But say Earth would be a vulcanized world. Um, yeah, the uh, and a captive government is a government that is not uh, free to do anything it wants. It is basically either occupied or socially tied or technologically tied to another world. So you basically had some other world playing a major role in your own internal politics and policies. It, it could have been a great, you might, maybe it's a beneficial world, but usually it's not. Um, you might've been a colony mm -hmm. uh, for that particular world. Um, uh, it, you can really make it what, whatever you like. Okay, uh, self-perpetuating oligarchy. Sounds like Earth. Um, <laughs> and representative democracy. How interesting. Um, so 0% on the, I thought there was like a explanation, explanation on the side. Yeah, I'm actually, I think yours looks a little different from mine. Cause I'm, I'm mine. I, I, this is not how it looked earlier too. I think I might have a glitch or something. <laughs> or maybe I just hit something. Either way though, this is good. Um, I'm going to go with that one that said, uh, captive government. That sounds interesting to me. I feel like there's some story to be told there. Yeah. All right. So, uh, being that I decided I was thinking of doing, um, some sort of, uh, officerial thing. I think admin's a must. Oh wait, uh, you told us to think about what your job would be and then choose not that, right? Uh, that's my recommendation. Um, there's nothing to stop you from choosing what you think is, is really cool. But here, look at it this way. Um, you're going to go spend 4, 16, who knows how many years of your life doing this other thing. This might be your only chance to learn how to go out and have a great time with carouse, right? Or pick up Medic Zero, first aid, you know? Or, uh, you know, if you're going to be like a combat oriented character, maybe you should pick up science. It's just a, it's a way to broaden your horizons. Um, but you don't have to, you can absolutely, uh, do what, what comes, uh, what, what comes naturally to the character. Um, mm -hmm. Seafarer is awesome. You actually know how to use, um, boats, like water boats. Uh, yeah. and, uh, Streetwise is very useful. Um, most people with your Soch, um, would probably not have to hit the streets, but on the other hand, um, you know, in a captive world, maybe having a little bit of streetwise keeps you alive. I would also right? say, That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, it looks like a captive world in the Aslan high rate. Yeah. Ooh. So, I'm so not a, that, that is correct. Um, okay. Yeah. Not only so are maybe you, I rose through the ranks is kind of how I'm thinking of it. That seems good. Sound right? Yeah. And and maybe maybe I was also like. Anakin Skywalker level uh, fucking racing boats or something. That's know? awesome. What's your like deck? That, that's what the seafarer would be. My oh, deck yeah. is the higher one, right? Yeah. So 10. You, yeah, you work. were good. Yeah. So what, what I'm thinking is kind of like, you know, I grew up I grew up on this water world that was ruled by the, by the lion folk, right? Obviously, mm -hmm. my character is uh, kind of a human. 
So, you know, I was, I was maybe lower class and, uh, you know, worked my way up. I, uh, I, I raced, raced, uh, boats and, you know, I hustled and, uh, you know, now I'm, I'm your value. There you go. All right. So it's, all right, so I've got those two. Mm -hmm. Now, like you need to select an additional skill. Okay, cool, cool, cool. When I did it earlier, there were only two, but I'm all right. So ah, fire. but you'll notice um, your education is an eight. Ah. So I think you start off with three. Browse. art of socializing. Um, ah, no, my character's too stiff to be good at that. Um. She might have done it in her youth, but I don't think she'd be good at it now. Um, let's see. Maybe she took a language or electronics. That's what I'm flirting between. Um, don't, under, don't underestimate the usefulness of learning flyer in a high-tech world. Basically, all cars on a higher-tech world, um, okay. which yours is, uh, are grab cars. Yeah. And flyer is all you want. All right. I'll take it. Yeah, flyer, seafarer, and streetwise. So I'm, I'm definitely positioning myself to be a really good pilot. Kind of how I envision that. That's kind of cool. All right, yeah. so All right. go ahead and accept your homeworld. Confirm my identity, female, and I think I was going to go with something short and sweet, like Al 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 Habar. Yeah, I like that. Just sounds yes. right. Doesn't mean anything. Yeah, and now we get to the first turn. I guess we'll pivot back Ooh. real quick to yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop to, to, oh, stop. And I will ask. Um, Shin, where are you in the process and would you like to share? It's cool if not, I have some lined up here. Um, I am picking a homeworld right now. I'm I'm mm -hmm. just there's so many, I'm just going yeah. through a bunch yeah. of uh like yeah. ideas that I have, seeing like what exists, like and, what interesting and this, mix and matches I can do. This might not help in terms of knowing, but I know as mentioned a great site, travelermap.com, where you can see like the universe and like click on it and like zoom around and see and I wound up, uh, uh, my first character that he walked me through in a libertarian paradise at the, where like, there were basically no laws, you could personally own nuclear weapons, and it was at the intersection of like a natural trade lane. And I was like, oh, okay, along the courier routes. So that was pretty fascinating. Um, I think that for our character here, who I haven't named yet, I think carousing just sort of natural in the social class. Uh, you know, a bit of an affable fellow, maybe not the fastest, but affable. Um... Good with hands and broad education, that draws me to mechanic and electronics. Oh, with cool. the breadth of the education, I, I I'm draw I feel like I was gonna say drive, but I feel like he has someone for that. And I feel like he's a flyer, but someone flies him around, you know? I feel like art. I feel like maybe, you know, he dips into something. Yeah. Does he maybe holography, maybe a little like does like little like three D modeling, who knows? Yeah. I think that's fantastic. So we dip we dip art. Uh, and I think we accept our home world here, and I'm gonna name him, um, uh, Car Smith. Oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> it sounds like he's a smith who smiths cars. Uh, oh my god. I'm gonna call him, uh, Car Yend. Uh, Cole can get a final veto on the name, but for now we're going with Car. That's me. And I like we, car. And we find ourselves at the... Ah, oh, you had Carl Ronan. Uh, I, I just remember that. Uh, we have a very pivotal choice, Noah. Yes. All right. So, again, you can click on any one of these things once, and it will bring up information about, uh, about what it is. But this is one of the times during the character generation process that you can really affect your character's education and, uh, and training straight out. Um, you'll notice that, of course, uh, you just brought it up, the character's in the lower left-hand corner. And at any time during this generation process, you can click on it, take a look at your skills and your stats. Um, you do have the ability, if you want to get in there, to edit some of that stuff, like your name and race and, and what have you, your stats, your finances. Um, we believe uh, at RPG Suite that, you know, when you have a pencil and paper, no one's going to be leaning over your, your shoulder and being like, ah, you can't change that. You know, and if you're a GM, you, you want to manipulate these things. So you have that ability. Um, uh, you are pretty well educated. And I don't, I feel like your family is probably not going to want to send you into the army or the Marines for sure. Um, uh, it's possible they might push you into the Navy. It's very prestigious to be in the, in the Navy. But definitely, university might work out super well for you. 
Mm, I think I think Carr uh, Carr is inclined for the university, uh, and you know the family knows he's a little bit on the weaker side, even though that's not super relevant in the Navy. You know, he's still right fragile. And the but does he get in? Barely, barely, because as you see, we have to qualify. We see what we rolled: one, two, three, four, five, six. A modifier from the EDU of a plus one. And we have a beautiful layout that Noah has built here. Uh, RPG Suite has built here. This is a, a little bit of a head fake, right? If you take a look at what's going on here, we're slowly trying to teach you how to play the game. Yeah. So if you look, you'll notice right off the bat, there's 2d6, and then you'll see that we've coupled that with the stat bonus, right? And that's the core mechanic for the game. It's 2d6, add a stat bonus, and you need to get an eight or better. If you look on the right, you'll notice that you have different hexes, and, and hexes usually represent dice values here or, or, or score values. And you'll see that three, four, five, or six would have been a failure for you. But anything above that was uh, successful, and you're only two did you're only two numbers into the green, which is why it said barely. <laughs> We're trying to trick you into learning some of the game mechanics here, just subconsciously. Nice. And uh, let's see what happens as we proceed in. And ah, uh, yes, we pick. We are confirming. Pick one skill level zero. Now, is this our our minor? Yes, this is your minor. So I would pick a skill that ultimately, if you graduate, it'll be raised to level one. But this is, this is the secondary and not the primary thing that you want to deal with. So maybe that's art for you, or maybe that uh, maybe you like the stars, astrogation. Maybe you like animals. You know what? What is it? What path do you want to send your character down a little bit here? That's true. That's true. I think. Hmm. I feel like so. And uh, because we have art at zero, if we finish up. We'll get it to one. It'll go to one. That's true. It doesn't help you because you've already got art. It won't, it won't help you until you graduate. So you might want to pick something else. I think. Um, I think maybe like as an extension of the interest in doing things with his hands and like educationally, he might get engineer as the minor and then focus okay. on something less technical for the major. And we don't, as we don't okay. have engineer right now, that'll bump us up to zero. And if we graduate, which is an if, we'll go up to a one. Correct. Uh, in your minor, yes. Excellent. So we confirm the choice, and now we pick one skill at level one. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. So I'm thinking maybe his family wants him to, like, you know, like, run things. Maybe he goes admin. Maybe well, you could be a lawyer with advocate. Admin, do not underestimate the power of the bureaucracy. Knowing how to wheel and deal inside a bureaucracy is actually really important. Admin, advocate for law, um, all very powerful skills in the way that you you uh, you can handle or play your character. It's it's really your choice. Yeah, I think... I, of course, uh, went on to create a mark, the prestigious lawyer, but uh, I think I think this time for Cole, I'll, I'll, I'll delve into the, the realm of bureaucracy and see okay. see what we can we can figure out about loopholes and management. I party at school. Okay, Carouse has gone up from zero to one. Beautiful. Wow. Nice. The university term. Things happen. Hey, at least you didn't bomb out of college already. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What happened? What happened, Austin? I rolled the snake eyes. Oh no! Do oh, we want to? Do we want to? Are, are you choosing between drifter careers right now? Yeah. Oh, oh do we want to? Do we want to share that? Do you want to screen share that? Yeah, share, share, share. Amazing. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess because nobody else has done this, yeah. Yeah. Indeed, well, yeah. Um, Noah is the principal actually at RPG Suite. He's out here walking us through us, us through it. We're very blessed, and uh, yeah, hit, hit meets on the hit, hit share on the yep. meets. And let me just do. Let me get the right screen. Say. So, yeah. <laughs> presenting yeah yeah all right we're seeing you we're cool. seeing you yeah so i failed the first one and i have a bunch of other choices uh i went oh. to okay the army and then failed oh no so you, so you... <laughs> to university uh army university so oh you tried okay so you enlisted in the army academy mm -hmm. they were gonna make an army army man out of you army officer and uh, you bombed out of that, so that didn't yes. go so well. 
Yes, oh, that is shit. correct. So, you know, just because you bombed out doesn't mean you can't get another try at it. So, yeah, I'm going to try. Well, trying to go into the army now, you literally walking up to a recruiter and saying, I have what it takes to take what they have. So um, they'll they'll take you, right? Yeah. Uh, or at least you have a no, – okay. And this is something I should talk about. Remember earlier when I told you the software really tries to give you information to help you make good choices? There's mm -hmm. a couple of things going on here. The first thing that you see in the upper right-hand corner is what is your chance to qualify? Yeah. Now, it is not guaranteed that any career you go into, they're going to take you. So in this particular case, the Army says, yeah, actually, we're likely to take you. There's still a 9% chance you won't be able to get in. The second thing that you see here is a description of what the Army is and a list of all the skills on their service table. These are skills that no matter what specialization, you'll see the three specializations below, no matter which, which branch you go into, you will always have access to the skills. So why do we show you that? Because if you're interested in a particular skill, you can look here and say, oh, well, geez, I really like melee combat, or I really wanted heavy weapons. And I know that no matter what branch I go into, I'm gonna get access to that if I want it. Now, we also show you your probability for getting a commission. So yes, you can get into the army, but the chance, remember how you filled out an officer school? Well, yeah. there's a reason. The chance that you actually are gonna become an officer is pretty low. It's less than 50%, right? So even if you get the opportunity to become an officer, you may not wanna try to pursue that because you're not likely to get it. And finally, every career has like three specializations, or they're really all, you can think of almost like three mini careers inside of them. And you get to choose from one when you when you enter them. There's support, and you can see there on the screen that the description of it is right there. Support is basically engineering, technical stuff, right? Medicine, whatever it is, you weren't the person on the front line, you were the person helping the people on the front line. You'll notice there too, that each one of those has a list of skills. Those are skills that you can only get access to. Uh, that is a list of skills that are specific to that specialization. And then there's two more sets of uh, green and yellow number or green and red numbers. One of those is advancement and you'll see the big percentage there. It says, hey, yeah. if you pick support, the likelihood that you're gonna be promoted and from being promoted is important yeah. is 42%. But if you look, the one below that is survival. Yes, you can die or get gravely injured, right? Yeah. So you'll notice that the red on survival under support is pretty low because as I mentioned, you're helping those people on the front line. You aren't actually on the front line or not as much as they are. Yeah. Infantry is, uh, is what you would expect. Um, literally grunts with guns. Cavalry is mechanized uh, infantry. It's guys who run tanks, right? And out of all this, look at your chance for advancement as a cavalry person. Yeah, that's what I was going to go for. Yeah, because yep. it's decks for survival and it's int for advancement, and you can see them listed along the tops. And you've got he's got a zero int mod and a dex mod of one. All right. Do we... So yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's qualify for the army. That says a lot about your character, by the way. You yeah. tried to get in as an officer, failed miserably, but you would not be denied. New right? List. You yeah. got right back up and ran right back at him. That's yeah. Dope. yeah. Oh man, you you really showed it to him. You're like, yeah, I got what it takes. Get out of my way. Yeah. And now you've ensured all those levels, at, uh, all those skills at level zero, right? So he can drive, use a vac suit, athletics, shoot, perform yeah. recon, do melee, use heavy weapons. Yep. That's correct. Hit the proceed, and you'll see them show up. Notice uh, it may ask you to pick a weapon. Uh, I have to I have to remember. But go ahead and hit hit proceed, and and tell me what yeah. it. Yeah. Now it just gives me the options. I'm gonna go with cavalry. Okay, you'll notice that if you look at your character sheet on the left, you've picked up a whole bunch of skills. And yeah. actually, the sad part is, you probably already had these skills because yes, you I went did. to Officer Training Corps. Yeah. Uh, if you left-click the small sheet in the dead bottom left, by the way, Austin, it will like yeah. pop up. Yeah, bring it up. So, yeah. Um, I, I just have a huge monitor, so it's not really a problem so for I me think, to read it. I think this is your... I don't know if it's your melee. No, this is this looks like it's this looks like it's gun combat because I see energy, I see net, I see boomerang. Yeah. I recommend so. 
uh, in a supplement to the game, they added all of these things that are that are part of gun combat. What mm. I recommend is you look at slug and energy. Energy yeah. is I have a laser rifle, right? I have a laser pistol. Slug is, you know, your standard guns. Um, all of this other stuff is cool for enriching your character, but those two are the big things. And again, yeah. if you have any one of them, it should tell you what it is. Yeah. I think I'm just going to go with energy. Sounds not a bad choice. Cool. Let's see. Oh. Oh, geez. Doctors. All right. So I guess, yeah, we're going to begin our first term. Um, Ooh, here it goes. I have the rolling on instant, so we'll see it as soon as I click it. Uh, okay, cool. So driver vac suit. Let's let's go with drive. All right, uh, you were driving a tank. Eh. You're like, <laughs> let me get in. Oh, boy. Um... Gotta look at these. And now you basically you, he's basically selecting which table he's gonna roll on, right? Yeah, so yeah. here what you have is you have three tables. And in Traveler, you don't get to pick the skill that you have, but you get to say, look, oh, I took assignments table. that were deep as as cavalry, or I did generic army stuff, or really I just worked out a lot and I, I focused on myself. Right? So you if you click on any one of those tables. You'll see the table below will fill out with all the possibilities and descriptions of what everything is. And the bottom row of that table will also show you how this affects your character, what you may already have. Um, you know, you have a lot of these skills at zero. Some of them you don't know at all. Uh, and so you can make a more informed choice about what table you'd like to roll on. If you like the idea of driving, um, either the cavalry or the service mm -hmm. skill will work. As I look at the cavalry, there's 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 things like gunner, which is yeah, like gunners. literally riding in a tank and firing the turret. Um, you might if you if you like the idea of being in a tank, I would take cavalry and and see what pops up. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll with it. Let's see, click on that. Oh, flyer plus one. Okay, so right. fly boy. <laughs> now, because you have flyer plus one, you get to to select one of the. Uh, sub choices sub skills and one of the choices in there is grab flyer um i recommend you take that because that means you are riding around in grab tanks which are almost like tank mix almost. yeah yeah let's do grab Ooh. <laughs> oh he survived, no survived barely he survived <laughs> busy advance oh, Lord. Yeah, let's go on uh special oh. duty you're given a special assignment or duty in unit, gain plus one DM to any benefit roll. Proceed. You may try for a commission or a normal advancement. Would you like a commission? Mmm. And I like uh, I like the flavor text if you if you click the individual. Yes, I belong in command. Nah, I work for a living. Mmm. Uh screw it, why not? Let's let's try getting in command. Why not? Confirm. You really want to be that officer? Oh, right? oh barely oh. on the money, and, on and, the money. And, and, and that is always too. Did yeah, you? It does. Oh yeah. my God! You made it. Yeah. So, this is a this is a real triumph of your character because they wow. say you couldn't do it. They said it couldn't be done, and you basically threw it right back in their face. Amazing. Congratulations, Lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. A nice. Now this opens up the officer skills now too. Yes. Uh, you notice you have a whole new column and every time you get promoted, which by the way was very risky for you because you had the less than 50% chance of having it happen. Every time you get promoted, you get an additional skill. So yeah. the officer skills are pretty cool. Um, um, leadership is an awesome skill in this game. Yeah. Uh, it's nice to have it at one. No, here's the real question. Do I go for personal development? Uh, or, or are you going to double down on cavalry? That's the thing. I'm thinking about either doubling down on cavalry. Um, Think of it this way. Half on combat? Oh, yeah, it's, your... Uh, it's your first four years in the army. Yeah. Um, you were dreaming about this when you were in officer school. Uh, you're doing exactly... You're, you're being very successful at doing what you're doing. Why not keep doing what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, let's let's go it. Another four years in cavalry, boys. Ah, 
Oh, oh mechanic. Mechanic. All right. <laughs> you, saw, you saw the one, one and you were like, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it's on the dice, the, uh, pres you know, that table. Turns you out it makes break, and it really helps to win the battle exercise if oh. you pick yours. So. And now the question of anagathics. Hey, kids, you want to not age ever again? Uh, uh, they are they are risky. Um, they're risky. Yeah. I have only uh, an eight, so it's probably really hard for me to get. Yeah, so. You're also 26 years old. Yeah, maybe later. Uh, next step in your character's life. Let's continue. All that's right, and that's so that's like one turn, correct? Or one term? E, I believe so. That was four years of your life. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So what is what's up in the lives of uh, Shin? What's up with your character? Have you have you made a decision on the uh, homeworld? Yes. Um, I am. Uh, I guess I should share my. Yeah, screen. Austin. Yeah. Wanna... Here, let me stop. Yeah. There you go. It's all yours. Right, Jor? It absolutely is a streamlining of the experience because you hear about the stories of Care Tra Traveler Caregen, and now we can have it in such a palatable way that makes it really easy for everyone to understand, even though yeah. we've never played Traveler other than like Austin once two years ago played the original edition. Yeah. So, um, I'm assuming you guys can see my screen now. Yep. Yeah, you're Varn. Yep. Aslan from Norcom. Uh, I am Varn, uh, an Aslan from uh, Norcom. Um, Norcom. Yeah, that's a, that's actually a really cool planet in the Trojan Reaches. Uh, it is the former head of an empire that died 2,500 years ago. Um, there's a lot of Aslan in the Trojan Reaches because that's where the, the border between the Aslan Hirate and the Imperium uh, winds up being, which is good story for helping to build your character. Your character is actually from sort of the no man's land between the two empires, which may inform you as to uh, how you think about your character. Yeah. Um, my my original thought with my character was um, I wasn't that great at school, um, and my family is not the the richest, so I actually chose to skip university. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and went out to try to find a name for myself, um, and not go through the books. Okay. Um, nice. I was looking through the options. Um, as much as I want to be a noble, being a poor family member, um, I think I'm gonna go with citizen ah. and uh, try to be try to put my good muscles to good use. Hopefully, maybe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no! I cannot. Oh, oh, I was rejected. Oh, the pain. Oh, no. The pain. You only need a five. This is. You know what? I, I have to say this. Some of the best characters I've ever seen come out of complete failures to do what you want to do. No, I'm okay yeah. with this. Yeah. Wanna, I'm excited to see where this turns. And now the drifter so. of the draft. You can either go be like a ragamuffin or you can take one of the people who mm -hmm. will they'll take anybody. Exciting. This is interesting. Um... Who wants a reliable pension and a boring life? Not this cat, man. Not these Twitch streamers. I think. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with Drifter. Ooh, the lion drifts. Ooh, okay. Drifter. Let's see Ooh, what. Pretty cool. What happens with myself? Um, <laughs> barbarian, wander, and scavenger. Yes. So you have a choice. Um, Norcom is actually a really low tech level planet. You can bum around there and it's, and it's neighbors. Uh, and effectively you are trying to live without the benefits of technology. You're, you're literally living off the land and skinning animals and all that stuff. If you want to like Mark Zuckerberg. So then the other thing is you can be a wanderer, which is literally a space bum. You're like, you know what? I've got nothing to tie me down. I'm just going to travel and whatever happens happens. Or you can be a scavenger. That would be the equivalent of a belter. You try to find a, a salvage crew. You go out there and you try to make your own riches by taking what nature left drifting out there in space all by its lonesome. Uh, scavenger seems interesting, but 
not going to school, not understanding the space and why you need a suit to go out in space, I think I'm gonna go with barbarian. Okay. You went to you. You went out for your citizen. Didn't work out. You were, you <laughs> learn the you studied the blade. You have blade at one. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, I figured you know it. You're yeah, really can't be an why average you Joe. So hard. <laughs> wow, I can't be an average it. Joe, so I need to figure out how to at least feed myself on huh. these on, the, on my land, and when then you, I'll figure out a future. When you begin the term, you'll notice that in the lower left-hand corner, all these skills get added to your character sheet, and the area that changes flashes. So that you can see when things are happening and your, your character is changing. We're just alerting you to, hey, this changed. You might want to look at it. Or, yeah, those those skills really did show up. Nice. Right. What's your, your dex is set. Your strength is 14. Holy crap. Your strength is 14. Uh, and your endurance is 11? If you, you are a hulking monster. If you if you get the plus one to strength, you reach the plus three tier and be like un an unstoppable killer. Holy like, shit. Like... So uh, didn't go to school much, didn't enjoy it much, but my but parents did raise a big boy. <laughs> 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 wow. I can even see the entrance exams for when you were trying to go to school. They handed you a tablet and you proceeded to beat other people with it. <laughs> Like, there can be only one. <laughs> no, I imagine like you hand me a tablet, like, huh? a stylus, oh. and I pull out a pencil. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, Which, by the way, doesn't this doesn't mean that you're completely ignorant, right? And you've never seen technology and its magic to you. It doesn't mean that. It just means yeah. that you've chosen to live basically in the wilds, in the rough, uh, amongst other people, where strength is a really major factor in whether you survive. And the fact is you are an incredibly strong character. So that's not a bad choice for you. So personal development, server skills, or continuing on barbarian. Um, the, the big difference between barbarian or service skills is unarmed versus uh, carouse or seafarer. But the big thing, survival, stealth, and blade. Blade is in barbarian, but it's not in service skills. Yeah. So if you wanted to shoot for the plus two blade, which I believe uh, is a spec skill. So like I, he'll choose a subtype of blade at some point? Or uh, no, melee, bleed, melee blade... Oh, Blade it's all your specialization. specialization of melee. I think I'm going to go with a barbarian a second time. Nice. Nice. I can't wait to see what you get. Seafarer. Seafarer. Nice. Wow. The second person in the group to get Seafarer. All yeah, right. you and Pat can talk Nautical. boats. <laughs> Nautical Rific. Nautical Rific. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not funny. People say I am, you but I'm robot. not. I bet you are funny. You just gotta have the right this moment. Is, this is uh, uh, slander. <laughs> <laughs> Seagulling vessel, canoes and rowboats, wind-driven watercraft and submarines. I think with the technology and uh, the stats of my character, I think I would be a rowboat or canoe type of guy. I'm now imagining like, those like, Pictish warriors who had like, the thick wooden shields that doubled as like boats to paddle around in <laughs> you, you, you carried your boat on your back oh. you survived Damn, that's, that's, a that, that's a double seater at least that's my Flying type of lion man know what I'm saying yeah you survive without any trouble at all mm, we'll see what happens to the life event so have a life event new relationship uh, new relationship <laughs> I a have romantic a romantic relationship. partner, guys. Mm. Lady line in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were the alpha. You were the alpha predator. You know. Okay. And you meet a military governor, Orness. We don't know. Wow. Uh, oh my goodness! So yeah, I can only imagine that uh, you. Uh, I mean, that's pretty awesome. Um, I can even imagine a number of things that happen, like a down safari ship, right? Oh shit. Yo. And you basically <laughs> rescued them? 
that could be a gateway to a whole nother career or there's a there's a huge story in there there really is i love this carriage man yeah this is a really fun system uh traveler rpg suites um character generator is fucking quiet i had to do this all manually before and it was a Mr. lot at sure. once. Yeah, by the this way, I, I have dropped the link in chat. Cool. You can check it out. They have, you can like tool around. There is a free trial. You can get right in there, the download section. Mm -hmm. So, advanced. We're moving on to the next section. Oh for... my. Yeah, yeah. So, I think we will slide over to Pat once more before we pop back to me just to check in on where she is. Sure. Um, so I haven't moved any, any further than last time I was presenting. So, I'll pop over to. Uh, Presenting. Now let's check the. Oh, whoops! I gotta hit the share button. I always forget to do that. <laughs> uh, boop, boop. All right, there we go. <clears throat> All right. I'm thinking of going into the Naval Academy. This is as far as I got last time. So. <gasps> oh, I was rejected. Mm, okay. Oh no. Um, Oof. That's kind of. You wanted no, to work on the boats. It's not, it's not the end of the world, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. There's the, all those careers are still out mm. there. Um. What does uh, Scion do? For, does, does it have a, so a drop you, box? You don't presently have a Psy score, so you won't be able to get in. Normally, a rare life yeah. event allows it, although there is an option to just be oh. Psionic. Yes. Alright, um, Scholar could be interesting, but I'm not on the Drifter. Nah, not, not the type. Marines would be cool, but I think I'm more of an agent. Ooh. And notice the three different types of agents. Law enforcement, you were literally a police officer of some kind. <laughs> Intelligence agent, um, you you work for the equivalent of, like, say, the CIA. Or a corporate agent, you were all about corporate espionage. I think intelligence or corporate, but it's telling me I have a better advancement chance in intelligence. So I'm going to go uh, work for the government. But what's life without some risk? Now we'll see, uh, we'll see if you get like in as the it. agent. I like to make, or if you, if I like you, to make sure everything's controlled. Maybe you go seafaring with Shin on a on a wild world <laughs> if you don't make it in here. Because I uh, mean, honestly, if I don't, Let's see if I qualify. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's a nice, that's a good wow. success. Flying colors. The Got local it. plantain Perfect. cartel, yes, Lou. All right, and... so intelligence or corporate? Intelligence or corporate? Does no. this have a chance of failure if I click one or the other? So there's survival, and if you fail that, like, you can get hurt a bit. Um, and advancement, what the big percentage is showing you is, what are the odds that you advance? So, like, you're more mm. likely to advance in intelligence than corporate, but you're more likely to survive in corporate than in intelligence. That's yeah, so, I don't give a shit about survival. All right. You're streetwise, investigative, recon, know how to shoot, know how to fly, know how to drive. Nice. Again, from one. All right. Choose training. <clears throat> now you'll notice that you have the advanced education table because your education is high enough. Okay. Oh. All right. Which contains the explosive skills. I just, I, I don't know why, but you seem like someone who needs to know that the explosive skill is on that particular table. <laughs> you read a lot of books. And plastic explosives came up in there. <laughs> You went to chemistry 101 and 102. <laughs> Oof. Just like in real life, I know how to blow things up and make meth. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. So, OCHEM, uh, not yet, but you know. I, I, I don't know, guys. I've taken or organic chemistry uh, through to its uh, completion, so I technically do. I just don't have the materials or interest. <laughs> um, okay. But uh, advocate, language, explosives, medic, vac suit, and electronics. This one's kind of cool. Um, intelligence would be investigate, which honestly I'm kind of feeling. Um, yeah. Recon, uh, comms, stealth, persuade, deception. Ooh, that's really enticing. Um, can I go back and get explosions later? Because like yeah, I definitely am interested. You, uh, in that. If you get promoted, you can try to roll again. Hmm. Okay, service skills. Uh, I already have most of these, or at least the important ones, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, personal development. Um, okay, you know what? Intelligence. Fuck it. That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> Alright, I've improved my skill in comms. Okay, now, I'm gonna pause you for a moment. Do you like yeah, that, please? 
Uh, can I reroll? It's a D3, uh, or a 3 on a D6. Yeah, I believe the skill in the sixth slot was the one that you were most interested in, Deception. I was, yes. All right, so if you hit, uh, blah, 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 I want to say Control Tilda. Control. Tilda is Tilda's the key right up top, the squiggly line. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Boom. So Ooh. now if you can change your role, you only get one shot at this, so you can put in, say, that six that you wanted. Do, 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 and override your roll. Oh, <gasps> there it is. Oh, I lie. Perfectly oh, natural yeah. deception. Uh, it uh, seems like a good way to get the deception skill myself. Yes, yes, yes. It's as if I rolled it myself. Look at that. <laughs> Six. Boom. <laughs> deception. So that is, uh, in case you were wondering, actually a loaded dice. No, I'm just kidding. Or is it? <laughs> Deception. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no! Things did ah! not go as planned. Uh, All right, so my intelligence survival roll failed. What does that maybe leave me karma. to do? Maybe, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Yeah, now I'm thinking of doing it again. Can I no, <laughs> control um, Tilda? Oh, I could, but I don't want to. I want to. Yeah, I want to let things happen. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how it goes. All right. No, how do I how do I get this off of my screen? I think you uh, you have to use it eventually. That's mm -hmm. okay. Okay, fair enough. You can also override right. the same number. Yeah, because you rolled a two, you can now override as a two. Oh, yeah, and sure. yeah. Feel like. two. Okay. So what what are the other options here? An offer you can't no. refuse. A criminal or other uh, figure under investigation you. offers you a deal. Ooh. What does a four do for me? This is, again, completely random because I don't actually know what this does. That's true. Yep. Curiosity is bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this and deception one. You gain okay. an enemy. So no, a lot, of, a lot of the skills go to zero or get okay. a plus one. Are there events where you can Private get a negative modifier on skills? Oh, nice. Um, Generally not. And that, that makes sense. Uh, in, in two different ways. That's an excellent question, Shin. Um, it almost doesn't matter whether good things or bad things happen to you. It's an experience and you learn from it, right? So mm -hmm. there's always something useful that comes out of that. On the flip side, you can get physically or mentally injured, right? Almost. And when that happens, your stat goes down and you will be less good at roles involving that stat. So your skills don't typically go down, but your stats can. Mm -hmm. What's the next step in my character's life? Um, uh, you have only one term, and so I would recommend everybody makes a four-term character. It's kind of standard. Okay. Uh, I would go ahead and choose a different career. All right. Is and uh, okay. So does that end my term I here, think, and somebody else goes? I think I think I'm gonna bring us back to Car. Uh, who uh, partied at school and got some carouse. Did they graduate? Not everyone does. Oh, no. Right under the line. Looks like our passion for art will not be leveling up. Or actually, I think it was engineering. Um, so we are going to proceed. Our Google Meets is not... Okay, Google Meets snapped back to reality. Oh, the goes grabbed. So we didn't quite graduate, <laughs> but you know, we got some... We checked the box, some university. And uh, I think... I think we try and uh, go noble because that's really what we're looking for. Hundred percent chance to qualify, and um, as you're a noble, <laughs> indeed, we're in here now. Administrator, you serve in the planetary government or even ruled over a fiefdom or other domain. So we were majoring in admin. So in theory, you know, we're good at that. Diplomat, um, you know, we wouldn't be bad for it. Dilettante, advancement. Basically not at all. Survival, we could not fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you're living off your parents' money. Yeah, they just, just absolutely no useful function in society. Um, I think, uh, I think uh, we try and make a go of it as an administrator. In part, I feel like kind of like our our uh, our hound of war friend. You know, it's sort of like show to them, like, ah, who needs your fancy book learning? I'll make it into the administration even without graduating. <laughs> so I think we slide in here. 
Yeah, I'm sure your family didn't pull any strings to get you uh, in. Of course not. <laughs> I'm sure Kara hasn't received any sort of... But we, we, we pop up, and we add some skills at one. Investigate one, Diplomat one, Admin oh. one. Uh, some zeros. That's good. That's like the first tier. And we do have enough edu for the advanced education table. Nice. Advocate. Now that language could be a pickup. Leadership, diplomat. Uh, persuade. I think... I think we're gonna flex that advanced education a bit. And we go more art. We wound up following our passion for art. Uh, as oh, we are wow. In so relatable. <laughs> and I think we're going to go, I think, holography. According to producing aesthetically pleasing and clear holographic images. That is awesome. Yeah. Something I wish I could do in real life. Oh, for yeah. sure, for sure. I have often butted my head against this model. And you made it through the term administrative survival role. What happens? The passing of a relative. Oh, I put gain a plus one DM to any benefit role. I'm assuming I'm getting them uh, I'm in the will. Oh. Uh... And we advance. It would be hard not to with our connections. We're a cleric. Amazing. And we pop in. I think we, we buckle down on the administrator role for a little bit after popping up the cleric. Gain some broker. Know a little about making deals. Nice. And now, normally, I believe you say it's not advisable to start Anagathics because it doesn't tend to have good results. That's true. Um, you have a high Soch. So, yeah. of everybody in the group, you are most likely to succeed with the Anagathics, but I still give you a 50-50 shot. I think <clears throat> at, at 26, uh, not feeling, unable to, to follow his preferred, his artistry, or, uh, you know, make it to university, he's feeling anxious, he goes for it. I think we go All for right. it. All right, what happens. And, and, <gasps> on the, oh, so, literally, we collide, we glide through on that Soch. Uh, quietly reach out through social means to get what you need. <laughs> so, as you can see, chat, the soak is a plus two. We only rolled an eight. That's a square fail. <laughs> only that plus two off the soak gets us there. Uh, mm -hmm. We find a slide of anagathics for your two term. And what's your character's next step in life? I think uh, we're going to retire and maybe try and follow a different career. How is everyone's life is shaping up? I know Austin I saw <gasps> earlier from you. <laughs> I went to prison. Oh no! <laughs> what? A hound of war. Yeah. What? What's the story there? What's the story there? Uh, they found out I was taking drugs. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought I you were an army man. It. I thought I you went on the straight arrow. It's fine. I I got it once. He was... on my last term. <laughs> the police got mad. <laughs> oh no! You're juicing in the tenant. juicing in what the ground happened? tank. It's fine. I made it to general. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Holy oh shit! You <laughs> they didn't let you in the you academy. You make general? it to general. You go to jail for drugs. <laughs> That's <laughs> truly the hound of war. <laughs> I, 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 you were probably just you? using too much cocaine, and they were like, "Ah, yeah, there's not enough cocaine so for the stats. rest of the people." It's oh, fine. Well, I think I might have messed up uh, because now it's showing me the benefits in cash. Yeah, you ended. Ooh, now there's a back button though, right? Nope. <laughs> so sorry. Bummer. That's all right. Um, do 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 do. Um, that's all right. Uh, we can probably handle some of this with Cole off stream, but uh, for to show you how it looks at the end, you do choose between cash and benefit. Oh, soak plus one in a yacht. You know I'm risking it. Oh shit. Ship share towards the ship. And the ship share towards the ship. Oh, wait, no. What's your next step in your character's life? No, I, I get to choose a different career. Awesome. There you go. Oh, you're not done. Not you're not done. You just chose to get out of that particular career. And now we go entertainer, and I think we try and take our holography on the road. That oh makes my. your character, actually. It, your lack of holography drove you to drugs. <laughs> There oh, you go. success. Congrats. Very good. Noise, noise, noise. We see journalist, performer, artist. I think artist, even though our advancement chance is actually the worst in artist. Uh, but, but survival is easy. It calls to him. It calls to him. He <laughs> goes for it. This is what I'm talking about. Like, you know. You made a conscious choice. You said, look, it's not the best for my character in terms of advancement, but at least I know that, and it's what my character wants to do. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Now, definitely single... a really, really good way to, to build a strong. Now, is steward is steward kind of like administrate, but more? Steward is knowing how to do things like cook and take care of other people. Um, mm. Think of a steward as somebody like, uh, uh, like if you were on a uh, 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 a boat or a cruise, right? The steward is the person that takes care of a certain number of passengers. A lot of home economics rules under steward. Um, mm. You have probably met an awful lot of stewards in your life. Yeah, they probably all did things for me. Maybe now that maybe now that Carr strikes out on his his own as a holographer, he's having to take care of himself a bit more. No, I don't think he becomes more deceptive, and he still probably needs someone to drive him. You know, he <laughs> Uber, Uber everywhere is his anthem. Um, that, yeah, that's a reasonable choice. Sounds like and, a lot of people oh, I know. You try and go, <laughs> yeah, yes, Austin? <laughs> Did you know drugs are expensive? <laughs> 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 Don't tell me you're in so I, much debt. I, I, I can't hear you. I can't hear you over the sound of my rich parents, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Check your debt, there, Lee. <laughs> Ouch! Amazing, Ouch. amazing. So, so you're in debt like millions of credits. I'm in debt the same debt that he's in. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm eight hundred grand in debt. <laughs> Oh, I have less debt than you. <laughs> oh, I learned to persuade people. Awesome. I'm like, no, my art is good. Pay me. <laughs> I know that. I know that struggle. All right, barely. I make it through, but barely. I survive as an artist. And agathics are risky. These are, you must make an additional survival roll. Uh-oh. Maybe drugs are bad, kids. Oh, I, 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 make it, I make it through the term. A life event. Good fortune. You come into money unexpectedly. Have a lifelong dream come true. Get a book published, or have other stroke of good fortune gain a plus two DM to any one benefit roll. And you know what? I think that makes sense because I think he strikes it. I think he strikes yeah. it as a holographer. Makes They're sense. Good. But he can't wow. advance. He's held back. Oh, there's only only so much you can do. I think I think he lays off the anagathics at this point. I think he's like, you know what? I've I don't need to hold myself back that much longer. You shock the system mm -hmm. uh, as your anagathics wear off, causes additional aging roll. Miracle, you age gracefully. Nice. Uh, I think I retire from the current career. And that's my second term of four. How what are we life. how are we going in everyone's in everyone's lives out there? Um oh. <laughs> Walter's just like, I've lost well, the leg. I'm at the bit where it's like finish up or choose different career, but I don't think I should choose another career. All right, so you've I'm gone four terms. terms you have. Um, a little more than that. Oh <laughs> shit! Did you hit? Did you hit go an extra time? Um. Well, you know, prison counts as a term that you uh, can't get in or out of. Yep. Oh. That's exactly right. So, <laughs> and and I may have been sitting here a little bit longer than you said. Just take only four turns. Um. So about like eight. Amazing. Oh my god! Oh, we'll, wow. we'll, we'll, You're an old man. We'll think about yeah, now. Age has negative effects, doesn't it? Yes, oh, yes, yeah. it does. You're like you're like a mangy hound by now, right? Not that old. Okay, thank you very much. You're <laughs> the not, drugs were you're worth not a puppy it. Puppy person anymore. You're a, you're like an old dog. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Can you learn new tricks at that age? I did get some intelligence. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I did get two intelligence getting out of the. He's heard it all. He's heard it all. Military. I mean. Oh, I'm sure. I think. I think. Um, my. Uh, what does the noble turned artist do after he does the art? What calls Wait, him? Are, I haven't. So, I haven't done anything to my character yet. Are we? Oh are we yeah. Moving oh, on no. to the next Well, so like we. Uh, yeah. Throw us up. Throw us up, Pat. Show us where you are. Okay. Well, so, I'm gonna happen. interrupt real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, please do. I just got a thing where would you like to increase dexterity, endurance, or strength? Oh. Should Ooh. I get a 15 strength? <gasps> yes. Oh, the oh absolute God. legend. Legendary. <laughs> the absolute He's legend. Fucking ripped. 
A god. I feel like it's a resounding yes. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Pat, but I just, I just wanted to bring no. that up. No, please! That was more important. A, a god amongst uh, cats. Ah, maybe. <laughs> a god amongst cats. Pat, you're free to share. Fucking Chadzilla over here. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go with the navel. Um, let's see if I try and actually get it in. Oh! I rejected from naval career twice! Oh no. Oof. Oh, Where do you man. go? Where do you go from there? That was the academy. You can yeah. actually try to get into the Navy on your own. Just walk in and kick down their door and say, hey, I was made for the Navy. I don't yeah, know if it was, though. Maybe I wasn't. Um, Maybe you weren't. No, I know if you want to fly, Merchant has some stuff you could fly with. It does. It absolutely does. Or you could try for the Scouts. Because scout. Now, here's the thing. Mm, okay. Remember I said all of these other people hate Scouts because their Scouts, scouts always have to think outside the box? You have a decent chance of getting into the Scouts. An explorer or surveyor, there's, there's, if you look, pilot is even on the scout's uh, service table. I could make it as an entertainer. That seems pretty obvious. Journalist, I could be. Well, I was a private eye. Could be a journalist. But then again, I just don't think she's the kind of person who wants the limelight, even though she's good at uh, manipulating people. Merchant. Uh, free trader? Uh, broker? Merchant Marine. Um, I apologize for eating, which is noble. I could do noble. Um, That's okay. Wait, I've did your character go noble? Up food too. Sly warrior. I, I could choose that. Uh, rogue. Thief. Steal from the rich and give to well yourself, actually. <laughs> I mean, I, it looks like I could do that. Field researcher, I could really do too. You're an explorer or field researcher, equally at home. Laboratory or wilderness? Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I really like that it lets you, you see your advancement potential in each career option. Um, yeah. So let me see what the Navy would do for me. The Navy, it looks like engineering and gunning is... Oh, a flight, obviously. Ah, yeah. I'm not going to go for the Marines. Oh, ground assault is something I could potentially advance really well in. Hmm. Do I want to be in the Navy? Hmm. I feel like it was maybe a childhood goal that I tried out twice and didn't get into. So let's see. Um, I think I'm done with potentially trying to get into the Navy. Um, maybe my character is... What What calls to you? Do you want to fly? Is that the important thing? She does or now that you've been detected by society, do you want to be stealthy oh, with... I accidentally chose something. I don't know what I chose. I think agent. I, I, I chose agent? I didn't even see that as an option. Uh, I'm just guessing. Uh, I, think I, I, I think I chose something else. Drifter, draft. Ugh, God. I don't even know what I chose. Ah, what a oh. bummer. Um, nah, fuck it. Let's go with draft. Oh, I guess I'm going to the Marines then. Alright. So, they tell me I could do good at ground assault, but I want to fly. Oh, where did Pat go, Jor? Where did Pat go? Wait, uh, am I... Marines. Oh. Yeah, ensure blade at level 1, or ensure gun combat at level You're 1. You're a Marine. So You've got to know how to kill things. So do you want to kill things with the stabby motion, or do you want to kill at a distance? With stab emotion or with a distance? <laughs> you, I'm you, actually going to go with distance, even though I have literally a sword right next to me. Yeah, um, I think your dex I've just would... Got, I've just got better dex. Like, my, my strength, I never go for high strength characters, except for um, rare occasions. <laughs> like, the... Deppy Paid or most of my tiefling characters somehow. I like big buff porn ladies for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> with swords. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna go with the gun archetype. <clears throat> Pick now, one skill to have. A oh, boomerang. Oh. oh my god. The marine just drops in like, uh, feet first into hell. Just breaks out his fucking boomerang and slaps. <laughs> I, again, I recommend slugger energy. Mm. All right. What does uh, what does energy do for me? It's like a pew pew, like an energy weapon, like a laser rifle. Mm -hmm. And slug is like a daka daka. You just have like a uh, yeah, a mundane. Chemical reaction or two. Okay. Well, Slug also 
handles Gauss weaponry, uh, which uses electromagnetic fields to hyper accelerate needles. Nice, yeah, Gauss rifle. That would be badass if you get your hands on one of those. So, like the needlers uh, from uh, from Halo? No, like, uh, mm. well, kind of like the um, honestly, like a. I guess there's actually a difference between that and a real. I mean, Halo has a Gauss cannon. It does. It does. I don't what, know what, what Gaus means. Gauss. Gauss was the name of the person, um, the scientist who did a lot of studies in electromagnetic fields, and so, yeah, um, very humbly, he named the unit of uh, magnetic field strength Gauss. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. It's basically using super magnets to accelerate metal objects out of barrel into the enemy. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're talking. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know what we're talking now. Um. That is pretty interesting. I'm gonna go with energy though. Okay, select a single zero level scale for your basic training. Now, so, how's this is it your first career that you've been in? When you go through basic training for a new career from here on out, you only get one zero level skill to choose from. Hmm. And we will already sort this list for you and pull out any skills you already have. So you can't make a bad decision. Hmm. I appreciate that. And if you remember, if you click, it will give you a description off the side. I think if you click twice, though, it confirms yeah, the choice. Yeah, if you, if you no? click yeah, twice, right. it confirms. That's my. That's what I accidentally did earlier. Ah, okay. Um, and another beautiful okay. thing you can do is you see how there's like a little like hourglass, you no, know, like a spyglass in the top left, like mm -hmm. far top left. Yeah. If you click the, if you click the it, hourglass, it lets you see. I actually have it. I have it. Um, no, no. Oh, yeah. you mean this one? You can type it. Oh, wait. Oh. I can. I can show them that on the mainstream. <laughs> but basically, a, a wonderful, a wonderful thing that is sometimes available. You can see here. I can type. Oop. I can type like stealth Sorry. here. I can show you the stealth skill. It'll also show you a stealth dagger. Uh, you know. Those sorts of options. Indeed. I'll pop back to Pat. That, is that a? An, that's an extra add-on, though, right? It's encyclopedia, indeed. Okay. Well, it'll it'll back something like a whopping five dollars. Yeah, that's not. That's not. Yeah, that's and with that, you get like um, full look and search up. Think five E's SRD on Dungeons and Dragons, but more full. Hmm. Battle armor could be interesting. I'm torn. I am torn. 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 Torn between. Vac suit, tactics, and stealth. Anybody right. got any? Uh... I, I can help you. Yeah. So, vac suit is literally the skill of how do I suit up? Um, but also, remember how I mentioned each one of those Marines was like a tank in and of themselves? Mm -hmm. That was not an exaggeration. They wear these power armor suits with vehicle grade That's cannon awesome. on them. And to, and to use those suits, you have to have the vac suit skill. On the flip side, Someone who has tactical knowledge gets special information from the GM and literally there's also game mechanics for you're able to help all the people that you're with in a battle to make to make sure you go first. Mm. And then heavy weapons. Heavy weapons is things like grenade launchers or uh, man portable fusion guns that they're they're the they're the they're the heavy weapons. And finally, stealth is exactly like what you what you would think of it. They never saw you coming, and they regret that. Mm, yeah. Ah, oh, goodness. Now, athletics zero know. is very interesting. Um, huh? Athletics as a skill doesn't seem like much, but it's used for things like zero G. So if the uh, energy cuts out, and you still want to have cat's grace, you know, in your movement through the ship, you want to pick up athletics at least at zero. So, you know what you did? You didn't actually make this easier for me. You made it harder. <laughs> Thank you for that, you jerk. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Why are there so many cool and dynamic decisions <gasps> to make in this game, Noah? Why are these options Why is it so, so cool evocative and, and interesting? Go ahead and, you know what? I feel bad because you accidentally clicked to get into this situation. Take a, take a look at your character for a second. Yeah, okay. Pop your character up here. Lower right. left corner. Your oh, All right. Yep. Boom. All right. Let's see what you got. Um, you've got. You're in your second term. You've got drive. You're good at deception, and you're good at energy weapons. Um, mm -hmm. 
there's there's a lot of combat going on. There's I see some combat type stuff going on here. I think you could round yourself out nicely with stealth. That yeah, that's kind of what I was aiming for. I was gonna go with either stealth or tactics, and then I saw that suit, and I'm like, ooh. And then you mentioned athletics, and I'm like, ooh. Heavy weapons never really all that much appealed to me, but like obviously, like if I was going for another character archetype, heavy weapon would. But you know, I was I was torn between stealth and tactics. So let me let me go with stealth. There will be, be opportunities to advance in both. All right, so I'm I'm definitely going Star Marine. I want to fly. Hold on a second. Um, Star Marine doesn't have any pilot. If you want to oh. fly, yeah. Star. The thing about being a Star Marine is you don't get to control your flight. They they shoot you at a ship. On uh, the other hand, your advanced education gets you a pilot uh, at plus one, and I think it is the only plus. thing that gets you a pilot. Yeah. So this is a one in six chance to get All right, pilot that's in your it. career. That's it, that's it. A good save, Noah. A good five, save. five, five, five. Uh, how about Control Tilda Five? <laughs> the power, the, the, the power of hacks. I like this, I like this override button. <laughs> Amazing. We got wall hacks. Ooh, now which one did you pilot? Now, mm. um, capital ships are the bulk cruisers. Probably not what you want to be spec'd out on. Um, spacecraft yeah. are your, like the Millennium Falcon would be a spacecraft. Mm -hmm. craft would be like an X-Wing. Yeah, this is a decision. I think I'm a small craft pilot. Okay. Because I, I, I used to race boats, right? Actually, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. You are you are a marine aviator and you fly marine, you fly marine fighters. You, 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 you just, just like uh, shooting womp eels. Back on Marriott. Yeah. Oh trips. my God! I'm making. I'm literally fucking making Luke Skywalker. What the shit? <laughs> you survived. All right. Damn. Life event. All right. Life event. Well, what's my life event? Birth or death. Someone close to you dies, such as a friend or family member. Alternatively, someone close to you gets birth. You are involved in some fashion. Proceed. <clears throat> You may try for a commission or normal advancement. Uh, okay, wait. Yes, I belong in command. No, I work for a living. I belong in command. Ah, uh, oh. regrettably, though, we don't always wind up where we belong. Maybe later. All right, so I'm at the next step in my life. I'm obviously going to continue my current career because I want to make officer. So somebody else want to... Wanna go now or shall i continue or what uh i mean if you guys want to uh, i think the hound should we just review what the hound of war looks like ah, now yeah let's go <laughs> yeah. Let's check out the hound. Sure. i don't know if you guys um remember what i oh wrong button i remember uh, a lot of real time <laughs> uh i me... remember your rise to lieutenant mm -hmm. to general <laughs> amazing and then i, I mean, went fuzzy. It, While this is yeah. going on, I'm, I'm gonna be right back and we're gonna for grab a slice sure. of pizza from the bridge. For sure. I think I got it right. Mm. There we go. Yeah. So I'm at this point where I can choose a different career, but I don't want to because I'm 50 already. Um, <laughs> so I'm probably going to be either making connections or buying equipment. Now, making a connection is obviously something I have to agree with another character. So that's why I've been just sitting and waiting a little bit. Indeed, but, but we see um, we see we see Army Academy bombed out. Cavalry, cavalry. You just stayed in cavalry. You advanced. Yes. You advanced every time. Yes. You made every advancement. Yes. Amazing. You said I couldn't do it. You but did I not did. have great odds, did you? No, like a forty percent at start, and then I ended. You failed I trading. With eight it, charisma. You the same term that you got major. You failed your training. Amazing. Yeah. A charismatic doge. Yeah, and uh, I think if I remember when I started, I had like eight strength and like <laughs> eight endurance, and I got it up to 12 decks. And, you know, getting old, almost dying in a prison riot <laughs> uh, can uh, really be horrible for your physical stats. But I also gained two intelligence uh, just from being in the army and stuff like that. I like how as a general uh, you showed bravery. 
Like, yeah, no, clearly yeah. you were on some drugs. You were you were leading from the front in your fucking grab tank. You're like, I shall lead yeah. the men to glory. Dun, 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 dun. And then, I don't know if you saw, I got uh, a, a couple of guns there. Nice. <laughs> and uh, just a little bit of debt. And a decent pension. <laughs> Yeah, and that's a lot of debt there. You could um, you could buy some battle dress for that debt. <laughs> yeah, basically. I was hoping to get some armor, but that didn't happen. So I just kept rolling on that, and I just rolled the last three on cash, which thank God I did because I needed to pay off some medical bills, and I almost died. Uh, which otherwise I'd have like three strength and five endurance. So thank God that didn't happen. Um, but as you can see, I got a little bit of some skills up at two and one at three. Uh, we got some dex based athletics, uh, walker drive, level 2 in sensors for electronics, one in grab, one in gambler because, uh, you know, I just gotta do some gambling. Uh, got energy and slug gun combat, got some turret gunning, three in leadership, one in mechanic. Um, while I was in the prison, I was at Shiv school, so I got some blades. Um, got two in recon and one in military with a bunch of other things at zero. Amazing. Wow. Now, Shin, what is the legacy of the strong, strong lion man? Oh, Shin, you there? You may have actually said he stepped out and I didn't hear My him. apologies. I had my mic muted. Oh, okay. Um, so. Hmm? Hey, Austin, do you mind if I take Yo. over? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let me uh, just... Find, it uh, isn't a, it, it's like that's like a, a series of paperback novels right there you the the tale of the of the dog soldier wow so um i think i'm on my third term or maybe i'm on my fourth i'm not entirely sure yeah, how career, to career read history it. one two three it looks like you're mustering out um so after finding a significant other oh wow uh, i stopped um being a Oh, I continued being a barbarian, but instead of going barbarian route, I went service mm. and tried to be, you know, a little more beneficial to a military governor. Huh. Um, getting stuff in recon, um, getting stuff in stealth and survival. Um, I chose to decide to switch careers, um, and that made me two benefits. Um, my first benefit was getting a, a weapon. Which I chose a shield. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, my second benefit, or sorry, my second thing, I chose cash. I got three thousand cash. Yes. Barbarians don't get rich. No, but I need I need some pocket money. Absolutely. Um. Now I've chosen another benefit, which was another weapon. Mm. I'm trying to figure out what weapon to choose because this list is very long. Uh, what do you have? You have a slug, or what's your Blade. gun training? I do not have oh. any guns, but my strength is four or yeah, fourteen. I thought I chose plus one strength. Anyways, it, well, it might be added at the end. I don't know, but strength fourteen, dex is seven, and I oh, have you chosen eight. athletics. I see it right there. So it's athletics. Uh, plus one. Yes. Okay. So that is uh, that's a, always an interesting conundrum. Um, athletics has a has a subspecializations of strength, dex, and endurance. There are ah. certain things that you can do that will effectively allow you to gain the benefit of that extra strength point that you've put in there. Um, but it is a, it's actually a skill. Ah, okay. Yep. There so, are ways. Yeah, I don't have a fifteen strength, but. Oh, I I'm digress. trying for you. <laughs> yeah. I digress. Um, so I do have a blade skill, oh, and there is a in there. blade oh. weapon. Yeah, does there's more than only attached to this weapon. Yep, you can definitely grab a blade weapon. Yeah. Um, what are your chances of getting a weapon? Uh, you have this a one chance of getting a weapon, and how many rolls do you have left? I believe I have two more rolls left. Okay. If you get weapon twice, the first time you can take a weapon like a, a pistol, right? The second time, you can take another weapon or you can get plus one to 
gun combat slug or gun combat energy, depending on what what skill you actually had. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you, yeah, I think that's right. So um, if you're looking to pick up an actual gun, I have a couple of suggestions that'll help you out. Um, otherwise, I would pick up a blade because you're actually quite good at it. Yeah. Study um, the blade. Yeah. There's also I a mean, couple others scattered throughout, like there's daggers and broadswords and stuff like that too. Yeah. There was the rapier. There was um, cutlass as well. Cutlass. All. Yeah. So, but the blade skill does that cover all bladed weaponry, or is it just all blade? All bladed weaponry. Okay. And there is some high tech bladed weaponry that you can get into a little bit later. Um, static swords, uh, monofilament blades. I mean, you can really actually put that blade skill to good use. Blades are wonderful close combat weapons, and a lot of starships have these corridors, you know, where a gun sometimes isn't the best thing to have. That's entirely valid. Uh, the question is, should I get dual shields and have a Captain America moment? <laughs> and, um, oh, wait, ah. I don't have the dexterity of Captain America. Or not really that's, the endurance, but I do have the strength. That, but that's the key. Because throwing yeah. the field is dex based. Mm. By the way, Cole, uh, oh. beautiful, beautiful Cole, has arrived. We have run long enough. You are muted and mute oh, right oh. now, Cole. Hey guys, how's it going? Very good. Oh. Uh, you are you are an artist. And uh, a, I a think noble. an administrator. Yeah, you are a noble. A noble artist, if you will. Nice. Cool. Um, so I think I'm gonna go between Cutlass and Blade. Cutlass does have that classic pilot pirate appeal. <laughs> but I, I'm with a government of uh, military governor. I don't I don't know if I want to go for the the rebel look. Mm -hmm. That's fair. But then again, any kind of bladed weapon kind of has a rebel look to it. So. Mm -hmm. Um. Actually, the upper class typically wear more. Sorry, what was that? The upper class uh, in the game frequently wear blades. Uh, mm. Frequently, there there may be uh, honorary uh, weapons, but it is a weapon that they can keep with you on most worlds because it's such a low tech weapon. Rapier, cutlass, all good. I think I'm just gonna go with cutlass then. Yeah. Nice classy look. And then for my last benefit. Should I? Oh wait, I'm sorry, I forgot. I got one ship chair. Oh good. I don't know what that means, but I have um, one left. So, when we're all done creating characters, we have to talk about ships. Mm -hmm. um, people who have ship shares have earned effectively a million credits towards the purchase of a ship. Oh, nice. you got a new ally. Yep, I got, sorry, I was uh, kind of skipping to a little bit. I got a crusading journalist ally. Possibly covering the uh, the downed military governor and her uh, burgeoning romance. Oh my. <laughs> Do so, you want to make a connection here, Shin? I'm sure. Um, so... Well, you've only got three terms, so you're probably going to want to pick up one more. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the real question is, what do you want to do with your life? I mean, I found love at a young age. At the age of what, what age was I? I don't think it will tell me, but it was during my first term, so I was like 20. Okay. Well, here's the thing. If if you have a significant other that is a military governor, think about what use you could have for her. Agent is a really good thing, right? She may need you, someone she can absolutely trust, to be yeah. intelligent. For her, right? Oh, to be her secret agent, man. Yeah, <laughs> your secret Aslan, man. <laughs> and, uh, or citizen uh, is another. I mean, if you're living uh, with her, perhaps you're a colonist, right? Or uh, or a worker. Um, That's interesting but, you say that because that was the original choice that I went. I try. I try to be a, a colonist. I try to be a citizen. And I was not qualified. Give it, a, give it a shot again. Yeah, now you're 91 chance to qualify, even with EDU minus one. We we with flying colors. 
So she basically went into the wild and you saved her and then she saved you. Or he, no difference. Uh, I think I chose my, yeah, I'll put chose my own. Um, ba -ba. so my original choice was colonist. Do it. So there was only a very one hard choice here. You didn't have. You needed to learn how to drive. Mm. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't raised in a very high tech place. I was pretty low tech. Oh, also, I traveled planets as one of my life events. Oh, nice. That's pretty awesome. Um. So service skills, drive flyer. I'm gonna go with colonists. This is what I wanted to do when I when I first got out, when I first started adventuring in this world. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's go cool. for it. Another athletics. I recommend putting that into athletics decks. Okay. Not athletics decks like being able to parkour and knowing how to be in zero G. It's very useful. Just to, to read the other ones is endurance is long distance activities and weightlifting arm wrestling <laughs> yeah i'll go with your suggestion i'll go with dex oh, and oh barely survive I barely make it through it's rough i'm not used to this call the colonizing thing i i'm used to being able to be on my own turf yeah it makes sense let's see what happens to you oh. i befriended a superior in the that comments. seems to be a trend with you. You're just a likable person. Or like, you know, people like... The guns. <laughs> <laughs> so, it says either gain Diplomat 1 or DM plus 4 to your next advancement rolls. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and proceed, it'll give you your choices. Oh, okay. I was about to ask, like, when do I choose this? Do I choose this when it comes up, or...? So, I don't think I have Diplomat at all, right? You do not. No. So it skips level zero and goes to a straight to one? It does, yes. Whenever you see a skill followed by a number, um, you will get that skill at that number. If you already have that skill at that number, it doesn't help you, or higher. But in this case, it does. Or it could help me get a promotion? Yes. So, do you want to learn how to be diplomatic? Um, which is a very interesting skill. Or do you want to guarantee that you're going to get promoted? Oh, yeah. You could be... Pro do you remember what your promotional... Uh, what your promotion rating was? It was pretty high, as I recall, for being calm. Yeah, it was like... I would just, I'd go for diplomat myself. Yeah. And try to try to be... Advance on your own merits. Ooh. You did it, though. Again, barely, though. I am a citizen rank one. Um, I think I'm just stick with colonists, just to keep things moving along. Sure. Maybe get my drive up. Or, you know, another point in survival. Wow. Um, do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't think I can. I don't think. Well, I don't think. I don't think I should. Unless you want to spend the next sixteen years in prison, don't do it. Do it. <laughs> no. No. Nah, I. I don't, I'm gonna. I think I'm at a point where I'm never gonna use it. I have nice friends in my life. I have good support system. Yep. I don't think I need this. I wanted to be on the lines forever. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> amazing, amazing. Um. I think we're going to pull over here uh, and show Cole how far I've gotten with a character that I was making for him. Oh, I'm going to stop sharing. Ooh. And, and, all right, so Cole, um, let's go back here a moment. So, uh, I have made, and you know, you don't have to roll with this, at, it's at your preference. I have made Kar Yend, um, okay. a human from a very advanced world who is a noble, nice, mm -hmm. s nice social standing, good education. Not like the fastest, but broad breadth of knowledge, dexterous, not super strong. And uh, you party at school, got better at carousing, did not graduate. Uh, <laughs> you became a noble administrator anyway. Um, uh, okay, that, that actually sounds 
Sounds like something a noble might do. Yeah, so, and you, you have the skills to pay the bills anyway. You have admin up at one. And, but right. that wasn't your true passion. Well, you might, uh, you didn't admire it, but you learned some in school. You're a holographer artist, so you make, like, holograms. And that was Ooh. his passion. And because of it, I was like, oh no, he's 20 whatever and he hasn't gotten into it yet. Time to do some, some anti aging drugs. So you did some highly illegal anti aging drugs to keep yourself no young way. a little bit longer. But we got off him after you were an entertainer and you had a life event of a good fortune. I decided that you, like, you, you <laughs> did good. Yeah, you, you like, you met your artistic goal. And you made something beautiful. And you didn't advance in the career, so you didn't get like wide recognition, but you know, you, you have your niche. You have your, uh, yeah. your opus. And so, this would be like the fourth go for this character. We don't have to keep this character. Uh, actually, yeah, it would be the fourth go for this character. We don't have to keep this character, we can start a new one for you. Or we oh, can... I wanna keep this guy, I wanna, I wanna see what happens. You wanna ride out with Karian? Alright, now... Karian, his journey is my journey, let's go. Alright, now... Now the final thing is, he's, he's met his goal as an artist, and I was thinking, where does he go next? We have a variety of careers here. Marines, Navy, Army, Scouts, just, you know, space stuff, basically. Then Drifters, uh, they wander around being barbarians, scavengers, whatever. Not necessarily his strong suit. We have the Scholar, and, like, you see here in the top right, uh, uh, Cole, you'll probably have to look at, you know, you just look at the stream. Yep, I'm looking at the stream. Alright, you probably, like, the stream delay probably, like, hangs a bit, but you see how, like, Scholar, because of the int modifier, low chance to qualify, we'd probably be bumped off. If you fail that role, you're bumped off into either a draft, it's like being drafted into the army or navy mm -hmm. or something, or becoming a drifter. So that's the thing. And then there is your advancement and survival after we consider. So do you think that you would decide, do you think Carb tries the impossible to become a scholar? Or do you, th or I mean, we can, we can survey the other options first. I mean, with the recent success of making a a masterpiece of art. Um, mm. He probably thinks he he's he's hot, and he can probably teach us a, 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 a college class or two. So he's like, I got this. I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be at at the top of this field. So he even though the chance is low, he goes for it. All right. I, I th do you, you want to see? Do you want to see the other options, yeah. or are we going in on it? Um. I mean, what other options would fit? So the other options... Noble? Uh, or? Well, so we've got... Yeah, you can go back to Noble. There's three subcategories for everything. You only did one. Um, oh, I think I, I clicked uh, oop, too fast. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we don't have a scion skill, so we can't qualify as a sign. But as a rogue, thief, enforcer, pirate. If he, I don't know that I see him becoming a pirate. Uh, a noble, he has sub-options. He was an administrator. He could go into dipl diplomacy or dilettante and just hang around and people know you and you don't do anything really. Unlikely okay. to advance, but impossible to not survive. You right. can learn about carousing, becoming streetwise, gambling, lying to people, flying, and jack of all trades, which is a skill that applies to, correct me if I'm wrong here, any skill role where you don't have a higher skill rank. Yeah. Huh. I, I would say... Oh, no, you are muted on the meats. Oh, I am? No, no, no. Is he? Oh. Huh? What? No, I'm not. I, I literally know, just... I haven't heard anything from now. Um, Jack of all trades is a special skill. Normally, you know, even if you have a zero in a skill, that's a big deal. If you don't have a skill, it's at negative three. And on a 2d6 curve, that's huge. Now, Jack of all trades is different. For every level of Jack of all trades, you reduce that negative three for not having the skill by one. So effectively, if you get Jack of all trades three, it's like you have every skill in the known universe at zero, which makes you MacGyver. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a lot of fun. And that is, and, uh, but bear in mind, this is one of the things you could get becoming a dilettante. It's not guaranteed, but you could get it. And advancement normally lets you get two go rounds at the skills. With a twenty percent chance to advance, yeah, that is Dilaton low. has a really low uh, advancement chance, so maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, but also no. Uh, uh, you are definitely going to survive. No risk to Trip survival. <laughs> Lounging in your parents' backyard and, and uh, mooching off their money is safe. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah, that, I mean that would be the true nobleman way. So. <laughs> you also you could be. So, a you know what? I, I'm down. I'm down for that chance. Mm -hmm. um, forgive. <laughs> Actually, no forgiveness uh, if he ends up being useless. For scholar um, or for dilettante? For uh, dilettante. All right. Um, 
Yes, so, yes. I have a question. Hmm? On the top right for Noble, it says 100% chance to qualify, hmm. but the numerical hex wise, you have three. Uh, you have is, three hexes that are green, but I mean, it says 100%. So there's a there's a whole bunch of things going on there, Shin. That's an excellent question. He has a 100% chance to qualify because his Sosh of 12 means that he's already a noble, right? Okay. Um, the What you're seeing there um, would be the effect of the fact that he's already had a couple of careers. Every time you leave a career and go to another one you get a cumulative negative one so his soch is plus two but he's already had two careers which brings his soch down to zero and if he had to qualify with the soch bonus of zero with a total bonus of zero that's what it would be um i like to call that a glitch <laughs> but um okay so basically the numbers like ended up like overlapping or they like re okay so they reset over yeah. Um, so we should, um, the, the better way for that to be would be if they were just all green at a hundred percent. Right. But more or less, you, you are a noble. You can walk right back into yeah. it. So after you do your, your art career, you're like, yeah, time to chill. Let's, let's see. So we, we know we qualify and yes. we go dilettante. Let's see. Let's see. No benefits from basic training. There wasn't anything about your career. You didn't already know. You're a well-educated boy. Uh, and now we have a few options here. Jack of all trades only shows up under dilettante. I think we're, we're aiming for it, right? We have some other yeah. juicy things like gambler and streetwise that could come up. Let's see. Let's see. Streetwise. All right. You un you begin to understand. Jack of all trades, I think. Well, Am so like what, right? what, what is you roll a d6 and then you get one of them. But uh, we can do control tilde and oh no, what's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, jack of all trades plus one. What a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed. Uh, you survive. What do you know? Hey, good roll. But uh, acclaimed success. Your reign is acclaimed by all as being fair and wise. That or in the case really of a dilettante, is. you sponge off your family's wealth a while longer. Being either a <laughs> jealous relative or an unhappy subject is an enemy. And a plus two on your next advancement check. So that's actually a bonus to advancing. A retired admiral is your enemy. Not a great enemy to have. Ooh, Ooh you don't quite advance. Uh, you're, you're, that Ooh. plus two mod helped, but the minus one end didn't. Uh, yeah, it, either even without that, though. A little short. Well, and uh, I think we're going to say never use, because you've already used them before. But the, the Anagathics are really... You are, you are 800,000 credits in debt from your previous use of Anagathics. Fair enough. And they're dangerous. <laughs> um, I, I tru truly... The life of Spencer. And this is the end of, of his fourth turn, correct? As I read the sheet, one one university, two noble admin. All right. I think... Uh, so to end, do I hit retire from current career? I would, yes. Confirm choice. And, ooh, we roll out the benefits now, Cole. Do you want to roll once on the cash table or once on the benefits table? I would no. like to roll at the... Since I'm a poor... Noble uh, I'd like to roll at the cash table. All right. The but noble mind, has the best chance of getting real cash. Yeah, right. yeah. Let's go. Because the benefit—I will say—the benefits you could get a yacht. Wow, just a small <laughs> loan of a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> a yacht and two. Shares. And what is a TAS membership? Um, Travelers Aid Society. It's really cool to get a Travelers Aid Society membership because. They're basically this organization of extraordinary people stretched out across the Imperium, uh, and they help each other out. It's it's interesting. They have a facility in most starports um, that you can stay at for free. Uh, sometimes it's a hostel. Sometimes it's a really nice hotel. Um, you get money every couple of months so that you can travel. Uh, but uh, if you get in legal trouble, sometimes they'll airdrop a lawyer to help you out. Uh, it's really nice to have. So those are the benefits, and I think you already have, I think, a ship share. Yeah. Uh, so you own, like, a, uh, like 25% of a ship. But So you want you want cash now. You want some pocket money. You know, you're seeing the table. It's like ship shares, blade, sock one, mm -hmm. task member. So we're going, we're going cash on our roll. Okay. I mean, is that what you want? 
I, I said cash. Let's go. Let's go. Cash. Um, so it's a Show one to six money. with a one through seven table. How do we get to the seven? So when you're in a career for a long time, you get benefits to your role. And sometimes, remember when it says like you get a plus two to your benefit role, like something of that nature? Remember when you have those events? You can actually get a seven. Oh, okay. Nice. And um, thousand cash. Nice. Yeah. So yeah. So he's got fifty grand in his pocket, uh, some ship shares, and uh, a, a lot of skills from his life. A high social standing, good education, dexterous, and uh, right. an enemy and a contact. I don't even remember when you got the army quartermaster contact. Um, next up, we'll make your connections, although I think we wait until everyone's more or less finished up before we do that, right, Noah? Yep, I would. All right, and so, Pat, where are you at? Where is uh, Pat? Oh, yeah, so I have been waiting uh, at, I believe, <clears throat> um, level two. Oh, whoops. Uh, share screen. Yeah, sorry. So I, I've been not really jumping ahead very much. Um, so I'm confronted by the op. I went. I went ahead and I chose uh, to go back through the Marines some more. Nice. Or I would um, have and, you know, obviously. For you. Sorry, turret. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, awesome. Artillery is the art of dropping things on people from orbit. Uh, turret is like in the Millennium Falcon when you're shooting at. Uh, uh, shooting at type. Yeah, I figured it's such. Oh no, I had an incompetent commander. If you report your commanding officer for his failure, you get plus two DM to your next advancement rule. If you say nothing and protect him. Ooh. Um, I want to advance. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Yes, that was the sound of him under the bus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yes there we go i'm gonna command some people now work my way up from the fucking ground the new there managers we go. in town Let's oh yeah did you ever, oh yeah pat did you ever get a chance at your explosive skill uh i got you have advanced education again are you gonna go for this exclusive yeah. officer skill and i don't know anything um Except for leadership, I, I don't remember getting, but uh, I'll take it. Um, I want admin probably, or tactics. I probably want tactics or admin. So I'm hoping. Leader, I will that. tell you, leadership is a very powerful skill in this game. What winds up happening is, you're coordinating your team, and you roll two dice. The effect of your roll, which is the result you get higher than an eight equals additional boons or additional advantages that you can have that you can hand out to people when they most need it the way i play this is let's say you roll and you get a 10. you know normally i would give you two d6s and when someone is struggling you could simply virtually hand that d6 to the person who's struggling they get to roll that they take the highest two d6s and that's their role so leadership can turn a failing situation into a smashing success. Sounds great to me. And I already have a, a rank in it, so I'm I'm satisfied right there. Okay. Now let's see what else my next uh electronics. Okay. You know what? I'll take it. It's not one of the ones I was angling for, but I'll take it. Somebody's got uh, a new which skill would you like to increase by one? Um no so comms is telecommunications, networking, jamming signals. That might actually be kind of important. Computers is, what is that? That's um, computers, hacking, um, getting into computer systems, writing computer programs. Okay. So remote control like drones. robotics. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Combat um, drones, like. Yeah, that is kind of cool. Specialization of electronics, um, interpretation of data. Um, all right, I'm thinking, fuck it, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not gonna go with analytics. Continue, 
keep going. I'm advancing in the in the military as an officer, uh, as in the Marines. <clears throat> Never pegged myself really for a Star Marine, but uh, here I am. Let me get my officer skills. Leadership again. Nice. Okay, yeah. I'm a good leader. Excellent. So that's my term three. I made it through the term. Events. This land is my land. You are in the front lines of a planetary <laughs> assault and occupation. Gain one of recon one, gun combat any, leadership or comms. Um, okay. Recon is the ability to notice things or in the military to specifically notice tactical things. Mm. Um, gun combat is I can shoot them. Uh, always good. And comms is we stay connected no matter what. I do have a bit of, little bit of gun gun uh, expertise already. Uh, comms. Uh, recon sounds good. I went with stealthy, right? Barely. Okay, I advanced. Marines you did advance, yeah. Half. Nice. So, um, I am, uh, I guess this is my fourth term, and therefore last. Is everybody else uh, kind of finished, more or less, what I was hearing? Should I continue? Uh, yep. Unless you get stuck in jail. <laughs> hey. Okay. Admin! Hell yeah! Finally! Never. Fuck it. Oof. No, it's time is taking too long. catches up to you. Oh, man. <clears throat> Take a quick peek at your character sheet. All right. Well, I can't really afford to get less strong, but at the same time, I think that's probably the one that I'll go for. It, it won't have too much effect on you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to continue in my current career. Well, wait. Well, you're oh, at wait. four terms. Oh, oh, is that, the, is that it? Okay. Yeah. Retiring. I um, also had a quick question on cash. Yes, Shin. So, cash, uh, there's a numerical number to it, but to me, not knowing the system too well, is a little arbitrary. How much, like, how much value is in cash? So, like, what would be like, a daily expense, like, I guess, like, rent would be, or something along those lines? That if you can give me an example of something like that. Well, um, a couple of things. So. Um, retirees can live off something like 10 or 20,000 credits a year. Um, okay. modestly, but they can, uh, you, uh, there, there is actual numbers that I can look up, but it's something like if you want to maintain a SOCH of 12, you're probably spending like a thousand something credits a day, right? Or more, okay. maybe in 5,000. But if you're like a regular person, you're probably spending like, to 10 to 20 credits a day so 40,000 credits is a lot 10,000 credits is a lot a gun will cost uh, 500 credits I mean they cost all kinds of they're all, they're the whole spectrum but a good you can buy a good gun for 500 credits right um, so what I'm hearing is I should go for the cash uh, what are your choices what are for your benefits to be honest with you I personally prefer to go for benefits because they give you things cash has a hard time like boosts to your stats armor your average suit of armor is going to cost could, you could get armor worth 10,000 credits out of out of that it's possible mm -hmm. uh guns could give you gun skill among other things um right. uh, and then a benefit to your soch like your soch could could be kicked up by two um so uh you have four benefits. I might take the first one as cash, but I take all the rest of them as um, actual benefit rolls. Oh, I didn't realize I had four. Three. Okay, I'll take that. And then benefits. Yeah, I agree with you. I I was really thinking this was gonna be a one-time deal. Oh, I got armor. Or plus one endurance. Your choice. I'm probably gonna go with armor. Ooh, what the hell? All right. What, what's the best here? Um, I recommend for you cloth armor, uh, tech level ten. Yeah. Okay. 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 Cool. All right. 
so a benefit. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Um, task membership gives you something like 10,000 credits every two months. Um, it is it is a power. It is an awesome thing to have in the game. Epic. And go for another benefit. Um, probably in the endurance in this case, then. Can't wait, wait. Take- um, you wanted to take armor. Because then it will upgrade your armor. No! Fuck! Yes, I know. I feel oh. uh, it. You know, but it's okay. The thing about endurance is you always have it. Yeah. Even if you're not wearing any armor. Oh, I'm a moron. No. No. It happens. Now we, I know. We, all, now I know. We've all had many, many, many trips up and down. Uh, from the general who went to jail to the, uh, <laughs> the, the colonist who became a colonist after a very circuitous route. You know, what's... I don't know. I feel like my character would probably uh, end up. You know, she she's got some armor. She really wants to make sure that she's like actually gonna. You know, she 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 flirted with the idea of analgesics for a really long time. And then she decided against it, and eventually she's like, "I'm gonna make myself my own person. I'm gonna boost yeah. my endurance." You know? Okay, that, that's that makes sense. Rationalizing. At this point, I think everybody's ready to make some connections. Are you ready, Shin? Yep. All right. So go ahead and click Make Connections. So um, the first thing you need to do is uh, go ahead and confirm your choice. All right. So you get to connect with two other players, and you'll notice that there are two boxes off to the left. So. Who is the first character that you want to have a connection event with? All right. So I've done my fair share of military shit. Who else here seems to have done some Is it the Hound of War? Probably the Hound of War, I would know. Austin, what's your character's name? My character's name is uh, Egto. E-G-T-O. Okay. So type in Egto. Calm down. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, fuck. How do you spell that again? I was E-G-T-O. It's yours. E-G-T-O. And how old are you now? 50? I'm 50 uh, now. So so go ahead and put I'm that 34. in. I'm 34. Oh, this is, this is Eggto's age. Okay. And I'm typing here. Uh, Varger. Varger. There we are. And then, yeah, uh, yep. And his career was prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> Prison. <sighs> and he, what inmate. were you doing there? Were you an inmate, a thug, or? Yeah. If I was a thug I, or a fixer, I would have died. So <laughs> would I have known you as a prisoner, or would I have known you before you got into prison? Well, he spent the last four terms of his life, which oh. is years, in prison. So if you are only, if you only have four oh. terms, you may have oh, heard of the general. I spent only one term in prison. Oh, that's too bad. (laughs) Uh, So um, that's your choice. If you want to know him as the general, you can certainly put down that he was a general. So you could go into uh, like Marine. You were a Marine, right? No, he was Army. 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 This is a cross branch association here. Well, maybe I would have known him uh, as a prisoner then because, you know, the Army and the Marines, they don't don't really flirt. Sticking with that. All right, go ahead and hit proceed. And Um, now, this is very interesting. You get to share events. So you can choose, you have four terms worth of events and you can click through them and you can choose whether to share your event with them or whether to share their event with you. It's your, it's your guy's choices. uh, So now, the one one thing, um, Egto, what I would do uh, is I would also start this process as well. Yeah. So for your first connection, I would put um, uh, Pat's character. Pat, what's your character's name? Uh, T-E-L. Tell. Yeah. Tell what's your I'm, career I'm, assignment? I'm a, That's all I need. I'm, I'm a... Oh, all right, my first term was a die, but now I've been a Marine now for three terms. Yeah, I'd go with Marine. Yeah, I'd go with that. Um... 
so. There was a mishap during my first so, term in which I was a private eye, though. Uh, it might it might have involved you. Just throwing that out there. I mean... Yeah. So that would be the equivalent. So if you look at your character sheet, that would be... I was 22. Fourth term from the end. Term from the end. Uh, I failed training. Okay. At that one. Wait. And what was the term was after that, that? Before you went to pri uh, prison? Uh, that next one I have new contact. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, okay. Well, the next one I got was uh, as a rank zero marine. Uh, the ensure you pick up uh, proficiency with a weapon. I think that's when I got turret. Uh, what were you doing in, at that time? In the three away brutal ground war. Well, that. <laughs> All right, brutal ground war, and I was turret from the air. Well, the thing is, you can you don't the two events don't have to match. They you don't. can just take one of them, or right. you can match. It does. All right. Well, I, I think we were probably in the same war during T T two for me and T. All right. Three. So that's cool. So then um, let's go ahead and uh, stick with. Um... Yeah, I like it. Go ahead battle buddies <laughs> make this a very short event description we were in the same war we were... it was in a war oh my god and did the killing <laughs> okay awesome. so who do you want to connect to uh as your second connection okay cool yeah. what, what have you been up to Oh, oh, Cole! Shall we, shall we look through your life events? Because he wasn't here for all of them. Um, sure, show me my life events. He was, hey, Cole, it's your life. Um, so tell, we're gonna put you How's in. How's my life? How's your life? It's been. Hey, you made, you made an opus. You made like the coolest hologram. Uh, what was what was the hologram? I don't, I haven't decided. Sick. What do you what was what do you think? Cal Carver would spend his life like like yeah, this is the best hologram. You know what? I'm going to think of something. So and give me a second. <laughs> and uh, I'm guessing that I would have known you when you were a marine because you were a marine most of the time, right? Yeah. And you're so star here's marine. My my thought. Maybe I needed someone with because like you know I became an officer after you know throwing my old officer under the bus um so maybe i wanted to run a real quick pr thing after that to be like i'm not a bad guy i stand up for the status for the status quo for the protocol adherence you know like for normal officer behavior you know just do your damn jobs and uh you're cool with me and i'm cool with you <laughs> wink so what if I hired you to make an ad for me? So I'm guessing that might have or happened while you were an artist. Something. Uh, something good happened to you. You come into money unexpectedly, have a lifelong dream come true, get a book published, or have some other stroke of good fortune. That's what I figured was your your opus moment. I don't want to steal your opus out from under you. You don't have to steal it. You could participate in it. Like for instance, uh, I do believe you gained a rival or an enemy. Along oh, I did. My very first term when I was a private eye, I um, found out something that was fucked up uh, going on in the intelligence agency. I was actually referring to Cole. Well, I don't oh. know that it works both ways. If um, Cole, what's Cole's character's name again? Uh, Car. Uh, Car. 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 So yeah. if Car had an enemy, it's entirely possible um, that Tell defended car against the enemy at his opus the uh the enemy is a uh, retired admiral maybe they were trying to like get you shut down and censored and yeah. Pat was like i think not additionally yeah the other the, I'm, I'm a natural like, oh, you know, if, I, if i'm getting corrupted. censored then I, I gotta think of something way more controversial for Ooh. Oh yeah, no so, you definitely got censored now, and i was yeah, here for you and pat and cole just to give you an overview of your events term one you go to university you party a lot you drop out uh, how old is Car? Or, uh, uh, old is car winds or up thirty-four. Yeah. Uh, his car, event description: uh, uh, the second go round, you inherited from a rich relative. Um, the third go round, uh, you, you, your opus. The last go round, your reign is acclaimed by all to be fair and wise, except you know, you're a dilettante, so it's more like 
You had a fair and wise lounging about as a noble. You know. Uh, how old was he again? Uh, 34. 34. Nice, same. Race. I uh, believe human. he was a, a, a human, human, human. Uh, gender, I think male. Career. He was a Delatant, right? Noble. Uh, now I'm a Delatant. Assignment Delatant. <laughs> Okay, so this was during T2, probably, for me. No, right? uh, it was uh, T3. T3, okay. Incompetent commander. That's when I did my own kind of um, so Machiavellian here, shit. Here's the thing. Um, it could be, if you want to deal with the incompetent commander, it could be that he was in the right place at the right time, and he smoothed things over for you. Like, the incompetent commander was trying to get you court-martialed. you back real quick. Mm. Okay. Admiral, so... Or the, that the Admiral took along some Marines for security, right? And was basically going to have the Marines somehow bust up this ex, uh, uh, exhibition. But you looked at this and said, that's nonsense, and did your own thing. And, and effectively, like, either helped them escape or tripped up the other Marine, you know, Convince the other person not to do it. You did something to save his opus moment from the admiral because he yeah, deserved it. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to say that I did some anti admiral. Um... Now, how is the admiral view, or how is the uh, admiral of this world? Is he popular? Just some guy? Admirals tend to be. Basically, nobles, um, high-ranking nobles, uh, and it could be. You know what? If you had a very populist-centered thing, like believe it or not, the Statue of Liberty was a little bit controversial when we accepted her. Um, oh snap! For no, it, like Car no, ma cars making the uh, Statue of Liberty equivalent. Whoa! Well, I would statue, think maybe yeah. yeah. It was literally your open moment. Right, it was, and the thing is, it's the culmination of your life because that's probably why I went broke dude. trying to pay for this production. Yeah, wow, it's all coming together. I think it's car with a K, it is car with a K. Oh, so let's a big statue of freedom. And what's the most freedom thing? Ever? Uh, fries. I was, I was going to say a hamburger. <laughs> so it's, how it's, it's, it's a massive, a it's a massive like hamburger hologram, <laughs> and the admiral was like, "You're not going to make this the war memorial. That is disrespectful." And you were like, "It's, just, it's the it's, it's the embodiment of freedom." And some hamburger and some fries. <laughs> this is freedom yeah. right here, man. Look at it. Breathe it in. Inhale. Yeah, freedom. I might be pissed too if that was freedom, but you know what? It's freedom now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's probably a little tongue in cheek and like highly satirized or something. Or maybe that's how the people viewed it. But you you intended for it to be like entirely like you know unironic, and everybody's really like, is this true. is a testament to uh, like you know. I really like the, that um, anti. <laughs> Uh, the anti-establishment uh, movement. Car has an int of, of five, yes. um, which is a little bit slow, even though his artwork is brilliant. And so it's very possible that Car meant something very literally because that's what he liked. But everybody read all this stuff into it. And <laughs> the, the, it's brilliant. The one pure artist in a, in a irony poison society. We're all like, oh, he must yeah. have meant this. And he's like, guys, oh, burgers gosh. and fries. And they're like, oh, the deepest sentiment. It, it reminds it reminds me of those. I don't know if you guys have like seen anything from a PlayStation game Dreams. But oh, somebody wow. made like realistic looking food. And it is some of the coolest shit I've ever seen. And some people have gone as far as like, is this supposed to be like an advertisement? What's it for? Like where'd this food come from? And no, the, 
the whole challenge was making food that looks absolutely delicious and absolutely realistic. So I might have made like this perfectly realistic looking hologram of food. It looks so delicious and it's huge. <laughs> the mouth water. Everyone will know. Maybe you came up with a way to have the food scent. Right as well. Oh wow! Mm. Hey, if that's possible, a hundred percent. You're going for the. We, the, we this, this, go the for scratch and sniff hologram. <laughs> a revolution. <laughs> like, how does this celebrate our soldiers? How do we celebrate uh, the 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 two thousands? How do we celebrate that era? Scratch and sniff. <laughs> Welcome back, Austin. Yeah. Um, if you'd like, I can stop sharing and let somebody else do some stuff. For sure. So I think I think the question. Yes. Before you stop sharing, actually, let's finish up what you were doing. Oh, 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 oh. let me that go back to nice. sharing in that case. So <laughs> boop, and uh, your entire screen, boop, and all right, uh, and hit the uh, share button, and boop. okay. Wow. So yeah, let's finish up what I was doing then. Okay. Um, so. so you, this is this. These notes are the important notes. They're the ones that are going to show up in your character sheet. Um, what you need to do is for each encounter, you choose one skill off of this list um, to be the skill. Whenever you make a connection, you're rewarded by getting a skill. It can be any skill you want. Normally, we're like, pick something that makes sense that you would have learned through the connection. So in this particular case, uh, you killed people together in glorious battle. I might take another level of gun combat energy. Honestly, if you're a Marine... You should be able to shoot things. Yeah, I think it's listed energy path. Oh, it that's not funny. There it is. Energy. Ooh, what about that explosives that I was keen on? Dude, that is totally is a legit thing to take. Alongside the tank commander, he was like, here's how you blow it up real good. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can blow Art. things up now. Yeah. You were so pure. I didn't get the art, but I sure as fuck got the Admiral talk. Nice. Very well put. <laughs> So for that one, um, you could put a lot of things. Diplomacy might be might be something that you might want there. Deception, uh, also another good thing. Stealth, also another good thing for that. What else oh could that be? Corral, things. also another good thing. All right, so wait, how do I find out my, so is it, is this, are, these skills aren't the only skills that I have, are they? Those are the only skills that you have. Okay, well then I'm going for deception here. Yeah, but dance. I probably, I probably had a little bit of a, <laughs> little bit of a, a tense moment with that admiral. I'm not gonna lie. I probably had to pull some strings and lie to some people in order to get the greater good accomplished. Very good. So All now right. your character is effectively done. If you hit next, you'll be taken to the, uh, to the um, shop to buy stuff. But don't. Um, I would just go to notes because we'll use the DCS later on to actually buy stuff and you will love it. So notice that your notes have already been filled out with your connection experience. I would type in here important points about your character, what drives her, um, any any idiosyncrasies that you want to know. It's up to you. Um, how do I uh, how do I do that? Just click there. Oh, I can totally just click there and, and do that. Is there a word limit uh, for this uh, describe yourself note? No, there isn't. Nice. Can you fit <laughs> Amazing. So, who do we think the um, <laughs> who do we think the uh, next? So, all right. So, Cole, you uh, are going to get one more connection with a party member. You have there is Ooh. a uh, there is a, a barbarian lion man who uh, found love when a military governor. Uh, landed say? landed on his planet. And landed is a nice term. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crash landed <laughs> on his planet, and uh, then there is a uh, a, a hound of Some war, like a fifty year old dog man who wound up going to prison for taking drugs after he became a general. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> Did he only one term in prison. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got out uh, during a riot. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Right, right. Right. Wait, you left that part out when you were explaining this. Right, don't worry about it. Maybe, maybe that's what maybe that's what your glorious reign was because that's the final event in your life, Cole. Right? So maybe, maybe during your like magnanimous time as a dilettante, 
You just happen to like photo bomb your way like through a, a, <laughs> like a, like a prison riot escape and get your boy get your boy hey, out. Can, you you know what this was? What? How how's the um I guess like state for those in poverty? Are they like starving? Are they like fighting for food? Because yeah. if I made this hamburger, delicious. Oh my God. And if this is for the people or something, and this is like uh -huh. the famine riots, uh -huh. and the pretty, and like you know, society's going down. It, 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 this was a whole giant movement for freedom. I don't know. This maybe I'm pushing it. Is this is this is this like the, the, the hand? It, 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 is this the why would the admiral attack me? Is this the <laughs> handing the Pepsi moment? But you give him a burger. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Guys, we did it. <laughs> we Guys, ended we did racism it. with a Pepsi. <laughs> Not only did we, we end Pepsi racism, the police officer. we it's ended over now. prisons. <laughs> we ended prisons. We ended famine. We 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 saved everyone, guys. All right, so Mission, I absolutely Agto, you're like fifty, right? Yeah. All right, and you are a Varger. Uh, yes. male. Your career uh, at the time would have been inmate prison. Uh, your assignment would have been inmate. And uh, this is this is tier for this is their event uh, it, it, an end for prisons. Uh, oh. the, the burger the burger smelt round the world. What's uh, Car's name? <laughs> in all that in the uh, Car's name is Car K-A-R. Uh, yeah. He's 34 years old, male, Lord. and uh, he was noble dilettante for the last oh, four oh. years. Gotcha. And Check four. An, um, a, a, I would call this a cure for prisons. You see, it, it, prisons. Oh, it's my event as well. Okay. Yeah, it's your event. Uh, the burger smelt around the world. We, we, I help you out. We, he helps you out with the riot through the burger. <laughs> And so we real quick we, this stream is not dangerous screen. saving the world guys. oh no thank you for that uh heads up i am okay uh tr uh hopping over there uh Etel helped prevent the uh admiral from censoring the most luscious of burger grams and then a cure for prison true ally that's uh, how you be a good ally Car, uh, car brings the burger that sets uh, the inmates free. Uh, and what do we think that Car learned from those two experiences? What do you think you learned from when uh, the 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 Star Marine lady helped you not get censored? Did you learn something about the law? Did you learn something about acting? Uh, maybe piloting airships? Archaeology? I learned I learned something about people. Oh. Uh. Would you say uh, carouse is the ensuring other people have fun? Uh, uh, deception. Do you learn about deception through that or diplomacy? Hmm. Well, if I was saved, I don't know how di diplomatic that was, but maybe it was diplomatic on the front of having to organize. You know. Yeah, organizing that event would definitely boost. Yeah, you, yeah, you had to put the event on. Yeah. yeah. This is like your gala. You like you handled everything. Yeah, all right. So the Wait, and this must have been like a spectacular I I'm, I'm, I I like we're we're going to like Man, I I love if there was like a food like embargo or something. And we're like now just like we're going to break that embargo. Ended the burger embargo. Ended the burger embargo. Ended we're going burger to break burger the burger embargo. Food for everyone. This is society is Unjustly kept these burgers. Food, food for the uh, people. Nutrition this is for the this people. is their reparation night. And, and, and this was the first step towards utopia. And for this car, for car bringing the burger that sets the inmates free. Do you think is that persuade? Is that philosophy? Do you is philosophy as you begin to delve into like what's going on behind it? At first, you made this burger just chasing the pureness of the scent and form, but then there became more behind. Yeah, it. Yeah, you're right. This is there's something very philosophic about that. I, I would, I would, I think that would be the all right the more yeah. accurate way to go. Food for the then, people, you, food for everyone, you, food for thought. Food for thought. Oh my God! Food okay. for thought. Yes, 
Food for thought. All right. Dipl Ooh, you get diplomat thoughts. and you get philosophy. I think we're hitting. I think we're hitting next yeah. now. We have both the skills. We have what happened. Um, absolutely beautiful. And then I just hit next notes. Right. Freedom burgers for all. <laughs> Release the cheese. Because we, we have. Oh, we have three <laughs> ship shares now somehow. <laughs> Again, I recommend uh, waiting to the DCS to buy your stuff. All right, yeah, so I sit next notes. Yep. Wonderful. And uh, dis well, well, how would you describe your life to add a paragraph to that, Cole? Um, you know what? <laughs> Burgers. Here, the... here, here, give me, give me one second to think about it. Mm. Can I, can I give a second to think about no, it? No, you can, you can. We can, we can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we you want can, to over to me? Yeah, because Shin, I think we're, we're waiting on the Shin, um... Quarter pounders okay. for all. We, we, yeah, Kashin, we want to see those connections. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, alright. Beautiful, beautiful. So, mm -hmm. um, quick recap, I'm Varn. Came from a low-tech planet. Couldn't be a, col a citizen colonist, so I became a drifted barbarian. Did pretty well, found uh, love at a young age. Um, went on adventures, traveled to different planets, and uh, at my last term, um, manned up and decided to become a colonist. Nice. And uh, at the end of the last term, I befriended a superior, so two allies, a bunch of uh, outdoorsy skills. Um, and this brings up a good question. Uh, a question. Um, so, currently. The other three party members have their two connections filled. Oh, Does this no. mean that I cannot you choose guys, them? You guys connect to each other and then close it all out? Yeah, that's exactly what happened, yeah. I was just thinking about that as I press next. I mean, I'm okay with that because there is an option, though. There's a small description saying, like, you could also choose two NPCs that you generate to connect with. You can. Um,. What you can have connection events Aren't with four other guys here. Like you can have a connection event with the other players. They just don't get a skill for it. Yeah. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. So now the question so, becomes: How did you? How do you know us? And what? Which events in your life could we have been in? Um. Well, right off the bat, when the military governess crashed crashed on Norcom, right? That's something that Carr uh, might have been involved with, or that's something that uh, the Hounds of War might have been involved mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, Egto, they we need you to, Egto, we need you to, like, put checkpoints all over this continent. We don't know where the military governess is. <laughs> the governor is. And you're just like, oh. you just drop there the grav tanks, lock the whole thing down. Egto, age 50, you were yeah. a Varger. So at the time, army, you were army, army cav. So should I put army here? Yep. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, technically the event was getting promoted, but say what should we name this event? Is this is the event where the um, I fell in love with the military governor uh, crash landed onto my planet. Call it, call it the safari snafu. Yeah, and, 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 and yeah, like, like, the, like, like after like you know, like months of searching for them, <laughs> like Austin has like checkpoints all over this continent. Rolls up in a grav car, takes out his space binoculars, and sees like, oh, there's like an Aslan teaching them how to fish with a spear or something. And, and, uh, and that's where you met. <laughs> Aww. Mm -hmm. Cute. You, uh, so essentially, you helped reunite the military governess with... The um, military? <laughs> with... Uh, uh, you know, I'm really sorry. Uh, Austin, what's your character's name? Uh, Ecto. With Ecto. <laughs> yeah. Which was yeah. her security detachment. Yeah, and at that point in time, I'd probably be a major lieutenant colonel, so yeah, probably would be delivered right to me, most likely.
guess escorted. Sounds about right. Yeah. I'm a lady. <laughs> Very good. I'm a lady. I love how yeah. we have like romance and drama and everything in character creation. Mm. Uh, I did have an adventure at term two. Ooh. Nothing major happened, but I did go cave hunting. Ooh. Nice. Who now the question is, who do you find in a cave? Pat, are you an agent during your second time? My sec no, I, I, like my last three were marine. But you said um, the first term is trying to go to academy, right? First term I was in a private eye. I thought first term was attempt at academy. Yeah, but if you fail, you don't have four years attempting. Oh, so okay. Okay. Tried to be in the academy, got the rejection letter, and then she became a agent. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So you go, you go on an adventure in your second term, and you travel in your third term. Mm -hmm. Um, and you might meet someone in a cave. You're connected to Egito. Uh, I think that, like, I mean. Car is uh fail and then Car is like I think administrating during that time. Oh, does Car have all of his um Car does Car, have car, car is too. Car yeah. is too. Um No, oh, does everybody have everything except for Yeah, I I, I planned that poorly, my bad. Uh um, how did that work out? That's okay. Um to have it perfectly become a circle, I had to get connected with Ecto and Car. Mm -hmm. And Car and Ecto can't connect with each other, which yeah. I found restricting, so I didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. uh. So, so I mean, if Car is administrating, uh, I mean, it's possible he gets called out to a cave to like handle something. They get lost with a survey team because someone's like, "This stuff has been found. We need you." And he's like, "I don't know about that." Or I mean, it could be the sort of thing where I've seen him around, but we've never like. Ever Hmm. I mean, the other thing is, like, life event. I travel. Basically, travel. That's that's probably the easiest one to like. Oh, and, and life event. I would. I would. Life Maybe event, pop on a ship and, with me. And, yeah, yeah. So you could pop on a ship with basically anyone. And uh, life event. That is when uh, Cole is an artist. That is when Carr mm -hmm. is having his artistic career. So he's. Mm -hmm. We all know each other through Carr. Wow, the Burger Brigade. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. We were all at that gala. Hey, what do you call a noble artist who makes a holograph of a of a cheeseburger? Rich. A royale with cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> so we're saying I'm connected with Car. Hmm. Car, you're 24? No, wait. 34. Uh, 34. 34. You were yeah. Mon? Me. I can run for president in one year. You were artist at the time? Yes. Yes. Or... Uh, enter it, enter or entertainer, were... artist. Entertainer. Artist. This was when I was traveling. Um, Should I just choose their event just so I can add my yeah. own description? Yeah. yeah. And this was the... See you, George. Peace, George. Bye. The Gala... Peace, Lord. Okay. Can't think of a good name for this. Mm, Royale with cheese. <laughs> Lee said that pun, and now everybody has to go. <laughs> it is, not, it it is slowly becoming canon. It works. Yeah, yeah, right now, <laughs> Jor and Lerb are like, I must say my excuses, good says. But no, take care, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I keep tapping. Um, half yeah, force habit. So like, uh, yeah, it's maybe a... maybe you don't know what cheeseburgers are, and like well, you. Yes, no. For this one, I would just put art event and then move on to the the, the bigger description later. Mm. Oh, true, true, because okay. that's the one that pops up. Yeah. Oh right, right, right. Because this is where the actual note comes in. Mm. Yes. This is what'll be on the sheet, I think. Um, so, I should probably give my relationship partner a name. 
I might have to think about it later. Oh, I got an idea. Um. So, what happened doing two? What was the? You weren't Luke Kinnett at this point. You were. Actually, I don't even know. I don't remember. Oh. Um, this just ends up being the same as the description earlier that I wrote, but. I really like how we enmesh everyone. Hmm. It really worked out. On Norkin, N O U R. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> that works. Hey, but over here it spells N O R I. Yeah, you're totally right. <laughs> you, you out of me is a terrible spelling. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba. So, what happened this like art event? Mm. Um, Cole, what sort of art events do you think that like would have like defined your career before the the great the great art, the opus? Uh, what what built? What did you build on? Um, probably just lots and lots of practice drawing different sorts of, um, I guess, you know, pictures, or I, I guess illustrations of different foods and sorts, uh, you know, like, in an art class, <laughs> and just lots of practice. Of okay. ho ho hollow food. Drawing hollow foods. Pop art. Or model, sculpting hollow foods? Yeah. I, I'm not I sure how that works. Holographing them. <laughs> Was it an exhibit? I, I keep forgetting what we even name, naming this. A hollow food exhibit? A hollow mm -hmm. food uh, showcase? Yeah, I think a hollow food exhibit. The Imperial Naval War Memorial. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, though. These puns don't stop. <laughs> Was so it the Imperial Memorial War Naval? It, it was some sort of freedom memorial. If it was an Imperial uh, Naval War Memorial, it makes sense that the Admiral was upset that it was a very populist, like, uh, as far as he was concerned, or she was concerned, off topic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, very off topic with food and uh, more important things. We need to feed the starving people. But in fairness, I think the Admiral was kind of corrupt or something, so... Yeah, probably so. That's why they enacted the Burger Bargo. The yep. Burger Bargo. Which could it not be lifted to me, guys. until art punched through. Ugh, oh, so beautiful. So poignant. Lee, so, does my descriptive paragraph my have to be, like, a descriptive paragraph? Or could it just be, like, a poem? It could be the word burger. Artsy character. It could be, it could be. I will say, this is just going to go on your character sheet. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, here's what I like to put on my character sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to put, this is a poem to the people. It's called Feed the People. And it goes like this. Protest for patties. Bring the buns. Liberate the lettuce. Tolerate mm -hmm. tomatoes. Free the fries. Wait, hold on. Liberate the what? Live and dine. Oh, wait. Free Prote the fries. Protest for patties. Bring the buns, liberate the lettuce, tolerate the tomatoes. Yes. I Free know. the fries and live and dine. And that's my poem. Amazing. There we go. True art. True art. Now, <laughs> okay. okay. Now, pick two skills <laughs> I think will fit. Um, with these, or that you think your character needs quite badly. Let's take a look at your, your character. Oh, uh, sure. So, um, it would really drive it home, but the crash landing security detail event could be recon. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
you already have recon at two. You could make yeah. it three, um, but I might recommend navigation, right? Which is the art of getting from one place to another intentionally in the wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. I think that would round out that, that chapter of your life nicely. I saw Boomerang, though. <laughs> that is oh. Navigation. No, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Now, for traveling um, to another planet and looking at for these other things, let's take another look at your character and see what holes you have in your skill list. Um, your survival is amazing. Amazing. Your stealth is good. Uh, Seafarer is good. Blade is good. Um, I might take unarmed combat. Unarmed combat. Because you have okay. two claws, right? And you have this good strength. Um, you already have athletics dex. Uh, so I think melee unarmed is gonna is gonna play in to those situations where you can't get your blade or your gun or whatever. Uh, and it makes sense that if there was some sort of a uh, action at the uh, if there's some sort of a rally at the at the food exhibit in the uh, Imperial Naval Imperial Naval War Memorial that uh, maybe you got into the tussle, but you didn't hurt anybody because you you developed good on arm skill. Um, mm -hmm. The other thing that you could bump there would be athletics decks. If you're more into like parkouring and that kind of stuff, acrobatics, um, that's another possibility I see with that. I kind of want to get you a gun combat skill, um, even if it's an archaic one. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, but we can probably pick that up at the beginning of the game. Uh, so, wait, Finn, are you literally building the character that you fought last uh, last night? <laughs> you are now playing a lion man after dueling a lion man in D. &D. Oh my god! I did the not night realize this. <laughs> gotta gotta, gotta uh, go back and name him Captain Groot. Combat lion man, no less. Going at him with your claws. Yeah. Dude, if you see a Spider-Man with like a green gold katana, stay the fuck out of his way. <laughs> no, no, no. I need, I need to shake this man's hand. He deserves it. <laughs> Interesting. Sorry, so this was really out of context. This is um, a game that we played. Uh, Lee and I uh, played uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. and we fought a lion-type character. It's like poetry. It rhymes. Yes. Yes. Um. So you said you recommend either athletics decks, a ranged combat type, or I, I'm picking up uh, athletics decks or unarmed. Here, I think I might go for unarmed. Not a bad choice. Although, well, having the what's it called, the dew claw, would that be considered unarmed? I'll take or... it. In. Um. There's some confusion in the game as to whether it's natural or, or unarmed. I'll take it as just unarmed. Otherwise, oh, okay. I, th I think you have to divide your, your skills too much, right? So yeah. because they're built into you, I take it as unarmed. Man, there are a lot of skills here. There are. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, I think I would go with go ahead. unarmed. Yeah. All right. The other hit. question I have is, is there a way for me to go back and edit this afterwards? Oh, yeah. Everything is changeable. Um, by the way, I just, because I, I love doing it, I tried to think up some sci-fi names. What do you think of uh, something like uh, Jordana or Alicia? Okay. I think Alicia works. The real question is, how would you spell it? A L A Y S I A. Ooh, oh, yeah. interesting one for the S there. Okay. Interesting decision. Yeah, nice. Um. Yeah. So I think that is my character. Okay. Go ahead. Hit next. I, again, and... would urge you not to go shopping here. And yeah. then, 
you can add yourself a, a little bit of a paragraph here okay. about who you are. So I think at this point I will stop sharing and give it back to Lee. And um, yeah, so we all wind up at this screen. Uh, we have the option of the use store page for the sheets uh, or exit to menu. Okay, so I would go ahead and print your sheets out or, or create the PDF sheets. Um, choose the simple or default sheets. Um, and that puts us in a position to be able to start our next game with these characters. So nice. uh, if everybody's cool with next weekend, uh, yeah. I and Lee are working on a little bit of an adventure that I'd like to, if, if I may have the honor of running these awesome characters that you guys have created, if you're into oh, that. Yeah. Um, Definitely. We can also uh, tweak the characters. So Cole, if you look over your character and you're like, eh, I'm not feeling this, or I kind of wanted that, you know, we'll tweak that in the first 20 minutes before we start the game. Perfect. Um, I'll hand out one additional skill to each person to, uh, to help better fit the characters to the game that we're going to have. We'll design the game somewhat around the skills that your characters have, and then we'll try to build it into something we can complete in four hours. That's super easy. Yeah, yeah. no one's ever had any trouble with that, have we, Pat? <laughs> I'm pretty good at it. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Uh, and I really look forward to uh, to gaming with you guys next week. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Pleasure. Can't thank wait. You. Yeah. Thank you so much for this, Noah. And Good I much. will. I will leave on the note of I'm going to try and load up a character just to show them the DCS briefly. Oh, that'd be cool. Ooh. Yeah, which is really cool. Uh, there's a lot going on here, but basically, this is like everything that a five E like 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 the the roll twenty sheet has ever kind of done for you, and you'd be like, that's neat. And like you know, the stars out number one is like really cool. Like, oh, I can click the gun type and it actually puts it in there. Like, they, they, all that can, like, go cry in a corner, all right? It's a cold day in the locker room when RPG Suite rolls in. Because, uh, let's load up Kari End, load character, and we got everything here. There's the, there's the rolls, there's the equipment, there's the ability to shop for the equipment. Noah walked me through putting, like, a targeting computer onto my stun gun. All entirely internal to this. All of the shopping, all of the everything. Um, and it's just, it's very beautiful. If I want to roll something, it gives me a lot of options. If I want to take damage to, or apply my skills, there's options for that. Go into the context, add, edit, delete, go through the career. If we want to make a tweak here, all of that's an option. Add a note, add a note to the fact that there was like, you know, uh, a variety of things happening here um and yeah uh add skills remove skills go shopping on the market get a 40 millimeter grenade you know why not um <laughs> just go it's great yeah so. uh not the car would have any idea what he was doing with the weapon but uh yeah and with that i think uh anything else Noah, that you would like to to throw out there um it's a lot easier to go shopping with this. Mm. You get uh, uh, it's a it's a lot easier to um, uh, to to tweak your character with that. I kind of the DCS was made so you can play your character, but it was also made so that it's really like the best editor that you could have for said character, right? Like there's if you click on the text there, it'll blow it up and and you'll get more data on whatever it is you selected. That's that's a lot of the artwork that, that comes from the uh, the game is also in there. Um, it's, uh, it's easy to find out um, all kinds of information and costs. You can sort the information, you can filter the information. So it's, it's much quicker for buying, um, uh, it's much quicker for buying stuff is really what it what it comes down to and and you have a better idea of what what you're getting into yeah so if i wanted to spend 35 credits to uh buy car a grapnel and cable you could yeah um and similarly i could get him that thing that gave him immunity to emps the subdermal armor we're not going to but this is all the stuff we see the home world of meyer uh we've got the log that we can access uh We've got a lot going on here. 
I'm going to stop randomly clicking through it, but it is beautiful. <laughs> we really appreciate again. Uh, oh, um, go ahead and click on notes. Yeah. Notes, notes. So, yeah, there was a question like, how do I change this after I've got it? First of all, the PDFs that were generated are fully editable. Mm. Um, you don't nice. need PDFs, mm. right? You, you, it, it's a nicety, but I never like being locked into a product, right? I don't like that, and I don't. I would never inflict that on anybody. So you don't need the DCS in order to play your character. You can just play it off of the 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 PDF, which again is fully editable. Nice. But um, I like to think that playing it through the DCS is fun, like a lot of fun. Um, but fun. here's here's your um, your notes, and you can change anything you want. Nice. Yeah, and we can we can add some like punctuation to like really make the really really make the free verse poem flow here. Now it looks like something that I would write. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so like we can we can come in here and add here if we like want to add more stanzas. Um, and yeah, no, this is really cool. All right. Is there any questions that you'd like to ask me about um, the game universe that we're going to be playing in or your characters or the technology? You can always contact uh, me and tell me about bugs. Uh, we're not steeped in money, but we do try to fix as many bugs as, as we can while still adding features that people actually want. Um, we've released a new DCS once a week for the last four weeks, actually, I think, to, uh, to clean it up and to... Uh, get better response on things, improve our Linux support, that kind of thing. Um, uh, is there any questions that... Uh, oh, uh, for the bugs, you can email me directly, noah at rpgsuite.com. That's fine. Um, also, if you go to our webpage, there's a place you can click on to, to let us know. We do look at those every day. Um, and so we will respond to whatever you submit. Um, uh, but again, any questions that I can answer before I go. Um, so where can we support you and RPG Suite besides, you know, buying uh, any of the products on your website? Is there any other oh, way that you can't, or you would like us to show support? Either yeah. promotion, um, monetary, any other way? Shin, you ask the best questions. Like, you, you huh? really, like, carefully consider things, and every single question, not that everybody else sucks, I'm just saying, like, all of <laughs> my consistently, Shin has had the best Shin's questions. kind of a boss. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, you absolutely can. Uh, we have a Facebook page, um, Facebook RPG Suite. You know, Facebook slash RPG Suite .com. Um, You can like us there. Uh, we we put out uh, news there. Also, we have a new product that um, we're going to Kickstarter soon called Ooh. Starship Architect. And That's really cool looking. oh my goodness, um, okay. we could definitely use help with that. Uh, we have there's so much good feedback about it. There's so much good um, uh, support, but it's hard to get the word out. So if you went to Facebook RPG Suite dot com and uh, liked us and friended us, or went to Facebook Starship Architect and did the same, that would be very helpful. Absolutely, uh, exposure is oxygen to people. You know, like in uh, in like the this tier of communities coming together to work together and we absolutely Thank links are in you. chat unless i'm really dumb mm -hmm. they will be in the youtube video description we will have them all over the place we're gonna play some traveler next mm -hmm. saturday 6 p.m eastern Ooh. hopefully it's fitting to about a four-ish hour slot and um by all means come through i think it's gonna be brilliant i went into this wondering how it was gonna go like fiddling with the uh the cameras beforehand like I wonder what's going to happen. And now I'm so hyped to see this game and to build mm. the maps and to see how this goes with these characters. I could not have yeah. imagined. I couldn't have come up with these characters in my wildest imagination, but <laughs> they happened. The, do the dice told a story and it was through the medium of DCS and uh, DCG. And my compliments to the chef. Thank you very much. That's fine. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good work. Peace. Good I am going to send us on a raid because we are Viking warriors. But also, no. we just, we're going to go say hello to uh, quests. Uh, no, actually, uh, hold on. I think, yeah, I think we're going to raid Devil's Luck Gaming. Uh, okay. And we are popping over. And thank you all for coming out. We are hitting raid. Woo! Four, three, two... One, bam, pop, a shot, over.